So that has everybody super duper upset. And now there's protesting going on. And I, it's, I'm surprised you guys haven't seen this because it's dominated my like internet today. This guy, Kyle Rittenhouse, drives from one or two states over to protect the property from the protesters. And um, it seems like... Which property? Which just property in general. Yeah, the random properties that were, the, they were burning. Yes. Yeah. He's like, okay. these, the protesters are bad guys. I'm a good guy. And um, in fairness, like there's this footage of him like um, cleaning graffiti off of, I don't know, some sort of big concrete monument, maybe whatever it was. You know, he's out there with scrubbing graffiti off and um, he has his AR-15 with him. He also has like a medic kit. He's like, I'm here to help people who maybe got hurt or something. But he's 17 years old. Uh, I don't know if 17 year olds can even have AR 15s in that state in North Carolina. You can't, but it's usually state by state. So, um, uh, anyway, he's there and you can see, like, I've saw, I've seen like 12 minutes of like footage of all these different things that they put together that involve it. There's this short bald guy who had like a plastic bag and I, I can't tell what's in it, but it looked like it had like clothes in it or something like that. And, uh, he's, like aggressive and sort of looking for a fight. This guy, Kyle, not really looking for a fight, but also drove two states over with his gun, right? He's like not looking for a fight, but ready for a fight maybe. And uh, and they, they show these other guys. Anyway, the dude with the bag, the video just it, like you don't really see what led up to it, led up to it, but he's chasing the 17 year old with the rifle. And he throws something at him. I've heard it called a Molotov cocktail. I've heard it called a firebomb. I've heard it called the plastic bag we saw in the earlier video. I don't know what he threw at him. But um, Kyle turns around, one taps the guy in the head, with this, shoots the rifle, kills the guy. I missed this. Really? Yes. Yeah, so I, I, what I saw I was the guy the shooting. shooting. Well, the guy shot at him with a pistol first, and then he shot that guy. And then he goes to that guy's aid that he's shot, and... People start attacking him, and they throw something on fire at him. And then they uh, he runs away from them, and they tackle him to the ground. And a guy stands over him with a pistol to shoot him, and he shoots that guy in the arm. That's the second incident. Yeah. Mm. So um, I think I'm right about the first part, my description of it, and you may have missed it. And then he's walking down the street, and I think this is where we, we join our, our stories again. People are yelling, he just shot a dude. That guy just shot a dude. And he had. But now he's trying to like sort of escape the area. And um, I didn't know that someone had shot at him first with the pistol, but yeah. Kyle saw that part. Um, but they're, he's trying to get away. He's trying to leave the scene, and the people are chasing him. And I don't know if he trips or what happens, but... Maybe they push him over, but now he's on his butt and people are coming at him. He shoots a guy in the chest. Another guy wants to hit him with the skateboard. I th maybe he's the chest guy. He shoots another guy in the bicep. Apparently, I didn't know that the dude he got shot in the bicep had a gun in his hand and he was going to shoot him first. But uh, he ends up wounding one and killing two, if I have the story right. And... um it's a real interesting shooting to me. People are all over this thing. One guy is like this arm vigilante. One side says this arm vigilante traveled two states over looking to you know shoot protesters and did. The other side says this is a clear case of self-defense. You know, they were going to hit him with the skateboard. There's the firebomb, which may or may not have been a firebomb. There's another guy with a gun. I mean, this is all self-defense. And uh, like, if you look at the final minutes leading up to it in isolation like i took a concealed court concealed carry course and they talked about when the all the shoot and no shoot situations is something they covered a ton for north carolina if you look at the last minute it's definitely a shoot situation it's definitely a he feared for his life serious bodily harm not rape but that's the other one and uh it's like that if a guy's gonna swing a skateboard at your head that's a shooting situation. Now you have what they call as a duty to retreat. You know, you're trying to leave the scene. You can't in just stand your ground at the gas station and say that uh, he was going to hit me. Like if you were able to leave the scene, you have to do that. He tried that. He was trying mm -hmm. to leave the scene and uh, that they closed that option off. They chased him down. He was, he had fallen onto his butt and they were still attacking him. So his duty to retreat, according to me was met, but 
if you look at it holistically and see that a few hours later he drove a state or two over to like put himself in this situation, then it's like, and it opens my eyes a little farther and I'm like, uh, it, it makes it more complicated than it would if I just watched the final, you know, three minutes of these guys' lives. And uh, Yeah, the, the guy with the firebomb, I guess, okay, was burning a car dealership down at the time of the shooting. That was his, that's why he that. had... That's why he had a firebomb. He was that he was there at a car dealership to burn it down. It wasn't, yeah. It and, wasn't uh, like he just had a firebomb and he was burning a, a car dealership down. It's totally reasonable. Yeah, we all yeah, have hobbies, it. and I don't judge yours. It was a registered firebomb. <laughs> all right, all right. And that was Nick Camry was asking for it. He was taking that firebomb home to his granny. She had <laughs> asked him to go out shopping for firebombs, and he was just bringing it back to her, flaming. Yeah. And and he was attacked by this young man. I Imagine know. if the angle was like, "We're bringing back American auto manufacturing." <laughs> Fuck Toyota, <laughs> just like burning Toyota, like every Korean and Japanese car dealership. Yeah. Anyway, I, so he had a legitimate reason for having a firebomb. On. He was <laughs> he was I guess he had a firebomb. I feel like it's becoming a little more, a little less questionable, right? Yeah, you because know, I when I try to look at both sides, they're like, "That's the plastic bag he threw." It didn't look like a firebomb in the video to me. And when he threw it, the ground didn't catch on fire. But I don't know why he threw a bag of clothes at him. Like that's not like yeah, that's not sense. a very effective weapon at all. Yes. A bag of clothes is not what you want to bring to any sort of altercation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's just what it looked like in the video from like whatever hours earlier. Like that's what he was carrying around with him. So I don't know. Some sort of laundry war. <laughs> a laundry war. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it was a firebomb. I feel like we're coming like eighty percent sure Did, it was a firebomb. Taylor, didn't you say that one of the guys he shot was a child molester? I saw something about that, that one of them was like, uh, I don't know about child molester, but like a, some sort of like previously arrested or charged with like sex crime, something, something some sex crime of the minor. That's such an interesting thing. Like, I think one of them was that. And another one was a domestic abuser with a whole list of like assault and battery. Yeah, charges. but he doesn't know that. That does, how what infant? I mean, I guess you could say like you're saying that those people are more likely to have been being violent because of their past history of. I think we're just looking at the fact that the that the mob of people attacking the person laying on the ground were all already criminals. Yeah, and and filthy, you're right. He doesn't know that. That to me is a little more relevant in like a. I don't know. I, what he did know is they were attacking him already. If if there's a mm -hmm. police situation, oftentimes they're like, you know, turns out seven years earlier he was breaking and entering. It's like right, right, right. I, I get that the guy wasn't a saint, but. Uh, you know, turns out you shot. It's not shot thirty-seven times while he was sitting in his car asleep, though, officer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he was stirring. Yeah. <laughs> it was you know. <laughs> it was, there's often this like karma argument, but in this case, I, I, it's almost not needed because they were literally attacking the guy while he shot them. They were in the process. Of, but Woody, mm -hmm. Woody, Woody, mm -hmm. he's white. <laughs> Everyone's white true. in this he scenario. In the on the night, second night, the the first one, the reason they were protesting in the first place, white cop, black guy trying to get into the car. Um, but on the next night, all these protesters and and the shooter, everyone in this is white. I think. Okay, I know the skateboard. The guy that was trying to hit him with a skateboard. He he he's like a he looks like the kind of guy who would try to hit you with a skateboard. But oh, too say. old. He's like 32 years old and still a skateboard hitter. <laughs> like, Bad <it> <laughs> who, charges, who, who charges a guy with a gun with, with, with a skateboard. skateboard? You ever yeah. play rock skateboard AR-15? <laughs> <laughs> it only goes one way, usually. Ah, see, I thought I was going to win with rock there, but you played AR-15 again and I lost. <laughs> you know, this time I got it. This time I got Damn it. Ah, AR-15 again. <laughs> ah, no match. No match for the AR. Am, am I allowed to do the AR-15 thing? No. No, just just you. Okay, well, I, yeah. I hate this game. I don't know why I keep playing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but you can see. Yeah, the, you can see the photo of the one guy with the Glock that did that little I like fake surrender. It. I heard. Yeah, it. There, there's Is there a, a video there's footage there's of this footage. Yeah, watching yeah. something. I don't it's think we can graphic. watch it. We, we, yeah. we, could, we couldn't watch it on YouTube because it's graphic. But there's one. There's a a still shot going around of the guy laying on the ground with his gun, and then one guy like holding his hands up as he's approaching him. And if you watch the slow mo thing, the guy tries to do like a fake surrender. And then reaches for his gun and is coming around, gun brandished towards the guy, like pointing it at him. And it's then that the kid with the rifle shoots the guy with the gun in the arm. 
And it's like, if he hadn't shot him in the arm, he probably would have taken a cap right to the brain. Everyone in this situation thinks they're the good guy, right? The guy who's shooting the kid on the ground, that kid just shot two people already. You know, he thinks he's Mm -hmm. ending a serial killer. The guy on the ground feels like he's defending himself. But he did come from two states over to start defending himself in a mob, right? So... That argument's not that compelling to me because it's okay. like, does he does he have less right to be there than any rioter? Yeah, we wouldn't say he that. He's there to all protect property, who, right? Like he's there to. What protect about all the people so- who 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 drove states and states to join Martin Luther King and his in his peaceful marches? You know, nobody nobody ever said, well, yeah, we we beat all those black people bloody and and sick the dogs on them, but you know they're from Illinois, right? It just doesn't you like know the state they came to get can, to Alabama. To you, to express you, yeah. their uh, their rights, <laughs> you can say Four. it's a you can say it's a bad idea to do that, without I think resorting to the whole, you know, oh he had no business being over there. It's like well no like, it anyone has a right to go to those things hmm. if they want. I and see your, going, I see your point. Well, not me, but if you're going, you might want to bring a gun. It seems just don't go, don't go to these things, don't go to the riots. Oh no, Why I would you put yourself either. in that position. I, and I, I, I usually resist the whole what were the parents thinking argument, but he's 17. It, your kid's going, taking an AR-15 to the riots? What were they thinking? They, I don't know. <laughs> he's a pretty no good shot. Have you seen him <laughs> on the range? They, they I lost mean, a lot he, of in it when they gave him the AR-15. Yeah. You know, after that, he made a lot of his own I, I just imagine you literally out. saying that to his parents in the middle, like, have you seen the video? <laughs> that's some good shooting my boy can lay him down <laughs> <laughs> jesus yeah it's definitely uh just just advise everyone don't go to the riots it's not gonna there's no nothing to gain uh, unless like you're gonna loot and th- even then don't well loot there's a lot things. to gain purchase things <laughs> yeah taylor there's all sorts of free shit at riots i can't think okay, of any well, public gathering where there's more to gain frank don't don't be a thief and don't go to riots what if what i just fly around on a paramotor would that be cool oh that'd be smart 12 feet yeah. up look yeah. at are, you, are you real fast it's on a the paramotor? night wing yeah, like you're kind of like a floating like hovering target and like what, how have you painted it? Concentric circles? <laughs> like, I would love, love it if the yeah, Nightwing right. showed up at the riots to fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> My cape stuck in the prop. I go down. <laughs> so, uh, we go I burn really didn't think this lands, through. Right? Yeah, that's day one. Day two, you're like, Jackie, I don't think I can run the, I don't think I run the cape anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> They're all laughing at the cape. They hate the ears. <laughs> that would that'd be a good Steve-O thing. It's, I'm Steve-O, and this is where a MAGA hat in a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Steve O unfortunately passed away. <laughs> yeah, that's I, you wouldn't even do that. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing to gain by it's going to those terrible things. It's situation. Just All sorts of badness happened. None of these people have to be dead. Um I I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I would go to those things. I don't Fuck like public that. gatherings to begin with, but I'm certainly not gonna go to one where burning cars and murdering people seems to be kind of normal yeah yeah not good and like i don't I, even I'm, think i'm not was, a gun guy tell me what an ar-15 is it's, it's, a, it's a semi-automatic fi- it's a semi-automatic uh military style rifle like quite a long big large rifle no yeah, it's it could it could be short and compact the, the thing is it's like it's like it's like you asked me explain what a honda civic looks like exactly and i'm like well sure. really depends on the owner <laughs> yeah it can get yeah. pretty ugly <laughs> it, can, it can get pretty ridiculous or it can be just real plain jane his was pretty plain jane it's m16 <laughs> from call of duty it looks like that uh uh-huh. but but his is fairly plain jane for uh for what it is he's got a stock on it and uh like a little hollow sight and 30 round p mag in it but he's got a standard four end and i don't know if he's got a muzzle device of any kind my facebook feed was making fun of his budget ar <laughs> Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what they went with. I mean, well, it, it was more like you punks got beat by a budget AR was the line they were taking. I mean, he's got oh. like he's got he's a decent red he's dot on, on a budget. He's got he's got over a grand in this bad boy. He's like, seventeen. That's a perfectly respectable seventeen year old's AR. Yeah, he's got a nice stock <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, clearly it's not as, you know, he had a 16 year old AR. He's upgraded. This is, this is one above. When he gets to 18 or 19, he's going to have a fucking. I imagine when he was nine or 10 years old, there was no red dot at all. And he's been working and saving. Mm -hmm, Probably. 
Yeah. Those are expensive. That's, That's right. like a six hundred dollar optic he's got. Maybe on. Dad bought him like the the base core AR set, and he's been adding the amenities to it. You could do that. That's the know. cool thing about ARs. You know, you could you could literally like buy. That would be a cool thing to like buy the kid like the lower, and then mm -hmm. like he's got to earn like each additional piece for like a summer job or something because it take forever. And right. and they're so like modular that like you can literally start with like the little bitty piece and then you've got to if he gets an A in history the stock comes in a magazine sure. rolls in yeah you get I just know that slide site. fire stock that I'm not supposed to have we'll slide <laughs> that on if you can pass gym this year <laughs> I don't know like I feel like when I do thing when I get invested in some often physical type of thing I like being that physical right like and this is always something I was a little curious about with like like um like mixed martial arts or something because i started training that once or twice before which was like i don't know that ultimately i want that feeling of you know of that situation of like i want to use it i fucking spent the time training it figuring it out learning it putting the time in a part of me wants to use it and i don't know like, is there any of that going on with the gun stuff like for some people, look, look, there's a lot of the gun culture is is wide and varied, right? Like, like I always thought it was real silly, the guys who dress up in all the crazy gear and stuff, and act like they're in a fucking SWAT team. I've always thought that was real silly, and that's some little dick syndrome shit. But I never wanted to shoot anybody, you know. Like, like I, I want for for like that outlet as far as guns, like hunting and and stuff like that was there. You know, we we'd go shoot pigs. And that was a lot more fun, you know, I would imagine. It wasn't that yeah. I wanted to shoot someone, but there is kind of a feeling of, like, I don't know, invulnerability is the right word, but if you have a gun in your pocket... Safety. All of a sudden, like, you're Security. the toughest guy in this convenience store. You know, if things were to pop off, you're the one with a gun. And it's not that you're hoping it pops off or anything, but I, I don't know. It's... But I, I think you're just that one side of feeling of security yeah. there. It's like but having a life raft further. while you're going boating or, or, or like having, you know, any number of safety precautions. It's like having a fire extinguisher under the sa under the sink. You know, you, you, you just feel a little bit safer if but that you've never had thing happens. If I had to shoot someone to protect my child, wife, loved one, property, whatever it is, could I do it? Have you ever had that thought? Sure. Yeah, I think I could. I don't think it'd be a big problem. But um, yeah, but the adrenaline, once I it gets going, most I people feel can. like... I'm I great know. at paintball. There's some level of like gun culture. Maybe it's the courses I've taken and things like that where they're like, even if you're in the right shooting can get you in a lot of trouble. Even if things go oh, wildly yeah. well for you, the attorney's cost, it, like it's a big problem. And they like, there are plenty of people who tell you how to talk to the police or something. If you've been in a shooting, like the only words you can say are, I feared for my life. I need an attorney. Like, like that's it. Say nothing else, but those things or there's something close to that. And uh, so it's, I never daydreamed of shooting anyone. I never wanted that uh, halfway because there is no shooting where that <laughs> ends so well, funny. right? There's no shooting where you're like, huh, you know what? That, that's better than what I was going to do tonight. Sometimes Can I it paraphrase goes what well. you just said, Woody. You just said the legal hassle of shooting someone would be a lot of work. Yeah. 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 Okay. But in yeah. a lot of money, it, it's like, I don't know. Like it, it, let's, if you were to get in trouble for, for I don't know, and I'm, I'm lacking words, but yeah, I, I know you where you're headed on that. Like, well, well, the legal problem of shooting is a lot of work. That's your concern. Yeah. But if that guy. Killing, is, killing, killing a bad guy isn't a big concern for me. Right? If this guy's already broken into my home, I'm feeling pretty justified, really. But well, yeah. it's still, he's like, I have problems even if this went well. Mm -hmm. I don't think the cow says it, it can, but they sort of taught us. And I could be wrong, they could be wrong that even if it goes great, even if the guy clearly like broke in your house and, and had a knife at your daughter's head and you hit him right in the forehead and everything went, you know, it, yeah, that you like still a have a court case and you still yeah, have no, to win. Yeah, I guess well, that's I, I guess not I'm true. Wondering, I'm wondering if this uh, maybe I went too extreme in my example. Yeah, but, look, yeah. well, like in a lot of <laughs> cases, if if it, it's it's going to co come down to like the local uh, law enforcement guy, right? The sheriff's going to make a decision in, in many cases. And if the sheriff says, yeah, it's justified. then that's fucking case closed in many situations, unless there's a big media stink and the States and the state picks it up or the feds pick it up yeah. for some reason. Here's an example that wasn't that. clean. So, um, 
if someone breaks into your house, if someone's in the act of breaking into your house in North Carolina, that was a shoot. It's a little easier now with the Castle Doctrine. But um, dude staying uh, at his girlfriend's house. Bad guy busts through the window, right? Breaks the window, enters the house through a broken window. As he's approaching them and they're in their bed, boyfriend pulls the gun out of the nightstand, shoots the bad guy. And he had to go to court because it wasn't his house. He was staying over hers. And they're like, <laughs> you know, he had a duty to retreat. He should have left. And you know, he should have left. It's not his house because you get certain extra rights if you're in your house. But since he was staying over hers and, and gun people are like, what? Should have left? What, what, maybe tie a bow on your girlfriend and then leave? You know, give it to the bad guy? Yeah, right. Uh, mm -hmm. And but he had to go to court and he did win, but he had to win. He had I to told you you should have put me on the lease. <laughs> yeah. So they, they use that as an example. That was actually from my concealed carry course as like, you know, if you do have to shoot, it's going to suck. Yes. Yeah. Things yeah. that seemed yeah. clear cut to us weren't clear cut to everyone. Yeah, I guess I'm a little dubious of a 17 year old picking up an assault rifle, some an AR, whatever this rifle is, essentially building this buying, building, component-wise, this rifle, driving two states over to be part of a activity where he ends up having to use that assault rifle. It, feels a bit, it sounds a bit like someone walking vigilante. around looking for a fight. Vigil well, forget forget like if he wants to kill someone or hurt someone or if it's a vigilante, he's maybe not punishing anything. It looks like a bit of bravado and the wanting to kind of throw down on something, right? And I don't know. Like, I, I can just... I, I don't know that I would... I could see that temptation, right? Like... I have a gun, some assholes in my fucking house breaking in. I'm going to shoot his dumb ass for this, right? I could see that. Mm -hmm. And a part of me being wondering, like, could I do it? Would I do it? Like a part of me wondering about that. Mm -hmm. Just have the tools. What do you use? What are you buying those tools for investing in this training for if you're not willing to do that? And I don't know, like, I, it, without, without the knowledge of that, I just, I just wonder at his motivation. I see both and, sides. Oh, I'm sorry. Do yeah. You more? Yeah. If no, you look no, at the last minute, it seems like a very good case of clear shooting, a good shooting to me. You know, if a guy's swinging a skateboard at your head and you've already tried to retreat and you get him in the in the mid swing, good shooting, bro. That's what that's what the Second Amendment's mm -hmm. for, defending yourself. But if you take it in the context of the whole day, where this guy came two states over and stuff, then it gets much more foggy for me. Yeah. But not for Taylor, I guess. Taylor feels like that's not compelling. He had every right to be there. Well, no, it's just the, the whole two states over argument. Like, like it's totally different from saying, like, yeah, he shouldn't have gone there. That was a bad idea. Like, you shouldn't put yourself in harm's way like this. That was stupid. His, you, you know, you're right with the parent thing. His parents should have been like, no, do you not see the Twitter clips? Do you not see what's going on out there? Do you not see the burning buildings and the violence, the assaults, the nonsense? Don't go. But the whole, like, he drove two states over. It's like, oh, okay, so now people can't travel and go to... Protests well, but it's or the, riots or whatever. It speaks like, to that, his mind. What, it speaks to what he's thinking about, though, right? Like, if this were on his street, there's the added now thing of he was just at fucking home. You know, like, what does that mean? Yeah. Right? Like, it, it's a different thing if it's like, if it spontaneously happens in his normal routine and this happens to him. It's a different thing than if he has gone out of his way to go to a situation where this is more likely to happen. I was pretty yeah. clear cut with that Missouri couple that stood in front of their yard. There are a couple mm -hmm. things they could have done better for optics, you know, hold the gun properly, stop muzzle sweeping everyone. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the general idea of I'm standing in my front yard, don't mess with this place. Yeah. Mm, you know, that's, that's the Second Amendment, you know, I'm, I'm kind of for yeah. that. Uh, it's fine. You just watch them break down the, the wrought iron door that's supposed to keep people out of your private neighborhood. Of course you're afraid. Right. And it turns out they were on private property. You know, they weren't just people on that public street walking by no th mm -hmm. this is already your private area and you just like you need to stay this far away like i i don't love it but i don't hate it either you know they're allowed to defend your own house um yeah this guy not an exact parallel you know he was defending himself but only after he put himself in the middle of a mob yeah, yeah. and it's really it's really great like without seeing more of it it's really hard to pass judgment on that past the fact that as you say like both sides, you're right. You're taking the moment. Someone's threatening your life, and that, and you shoot that person and kill that person. Yeah, absolutely. If you just take that one clip of it, but what did you do to that person? What what led into that? How did you get in that situation? All this is relevant to some degree. So yeah, we'll see how the court treats it. You know, and yeah. and I wonder if the ramifications of that decision will weigh into the decision, right? Like uh, um, Rodney King, and most people too young, but. 
Rodney King riots didn't happen because Rodney King got beaten. Rodney King riots happened because the police were found not guilty, right? They clearly were guilty. There's six of them beat the fuck out of a guy until he was like mentally damaged and bruised and just trashed. They were taking out their frustrations on a near lifeless body. And uh, the court ruled that was okay. That is when those riots happened. If this guy in either direction, you could find him guilty or not guilty. And I, it's someone's going to be very upset with how this goes. Yeah, if he's found innocent of like the, I think I saw somewhere they're doing that thing where they really overbite it, like take a too big of a bite out with like, oh, first degree murder. It's like, well, you're not going to get that. That doesn't seem very likely at all. So yeah, I don't think they'll get him for that. And that'll probably be enough on its own that people will start rioting and burning things. And, you know, it seems to be a pattern. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see, yeah. Or or if they do lock yeah, him I'm, up, I'm, there's I'm a whole other group of people that too. will be upset. You know, if, yeah. he, if he gets... Well, I forget which side you just said. But anyway, in either case, there's going to be one side or the other who's not happy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. The dude wanted to be a cop. He was like, blue lives matter. This is an interesting thing nowadays, right? Like, you do something... And they go to your social media and find out who you were. You know, all the things you've said for the last 18 months. People just type their feelings online all the time. So Mm -hmm. now I can go to your Instagram and Facebook feed and et cetera and find out, you know, a little bit about you. Which groups you were members of. You know, uh, all the Blue Lives Matter flags you've posted and stuff like that. I think he was part of some, like, he's young so he can't be a cop. But, you know, like, pre-cop cadet, like, fantasy group type thing that, that he had. Mitty was most in one annoying. of those. We're watching you, Mitty. Mitty? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I thought the top it, it's been dominating my not just my internet lately, but kind of my mind. Like shit went down in a really big way. So there was a building that was like burned down and sort of ruined. And he wanted to get the owner of that business to come and like talk to him and you know, talk about how awful it was that these protesters fucked his shit up. But the owner of the business wanted nothing to do with him. So he got this previous owner of the business. Oh, nice. To pretend that that he owned the business. And he's like, yeah, it really sucks, you know? Now I don't have this place anymore. And like, like, he didn't actually say anything that was untrue. He phrased it just right. Yeah. (laughs) He did the whole way through. And and he's just acting like, man, it's awful. Uh, They came, they burnt down this business, and now it's not mine. And I don't think they should have done that. (laughs) Oh, I like that. (laughs) Dude, that's fucking lazy. Because you guarantee he could have... When that guy was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. He could have like looked across the street and been like, all right, well, then I'm going to the coffee shop. Then I'll try that. Like there were plenty of places burned down. He could have gone to, sure but he just, it? oh, I'm, I, I mean, there's been enough buildings they burned, burned down. down so he, many he could have gone to a, that car, one this of the many car Kenesha? lots. He could have gone to the Kennesaw places but that all got like, burned down. Car key damage is not as good as this. There's this one building that I keep seeing in every picture. I car key damage? They, what do you mean? That's what they were doing no, to use cars. No, no, no. I mean the entire, the entire car lot that burned for, Hours and hours of cars. Yeah, yeah. So one car, like uh, an entire lot of cars, burned at a dealership. Like he could have gone there. Did you see the clip? They're very, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Apparently, very, very flammable. Enough that it goes from car to car and like, yeah. You you can see it's this. It's these two guys that own a car lot in Kenosha or whatever it is, and like you're. It's like from the curb, you know, where you look and you see the the rows of cars. Every single one blackened to a crisp. Like so, it must have. You know, cars it, in a hard. car lot, they're parked close enough to go from car to car. If they're True. if no Holy one makes an effort to put them out, I have a good. And nobody can put it out. I'd like to see it. If people are rioting, you're not going to go try and put that shit out. It's on Wikipedia, which is generally true. I I trust it mostly. Um, but here it is. Oh shit! That's yeah, wrecked. Just that's not the one, is it? Because it looks like it might be. It's hard to tell. Uh, that looks like the one. Uh, the there may have been is? multiple. Like it was. Uh, well, I, I don't. I don't know how close this was to the the shooting and how stuff. How many cars I, is that? Four. I just know I've seen this photo. Yeah, dozens. It's like thirty fucking cars. Like, oh, look at that one kind of blue Chrysler three hundred. The back third of it is <laughs> kind of burned. That's who. That's who pulled in this morning. And, I was like, what? And, and that might be the happened. guy's car. <laughs> they burnt the dealership too, of course. Yeah, I saw. Um, oh, it's burnt. I, that that Chrysler three hundred is worse than it looks. They're like melted. Today I saw this uh, this black lady who owned like a, a sit go gas station, and they've ruined her gas station. It's it's all fucked up, and she's standing outside of it. Like, don't y'all know this is a black owned business? 
what? And I'm thinking like, this is in the wrong subreddit, boys. This is not a public freakout. This is a justice served. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, like, I, I love that she, I love that she had the gall to say that. Like, like hey, 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 you burned down the wrong business. There's a yeah. white guy who owns a gas station down the road. He's the one you should punish <laughs> for. Oh my God! Like, that guy's like, making in his millions on his gas station. Yeah. What did this happen like, the first like, night? When did the burning? Yeah, happen? yeah. The, I think the burning was the first night. Oh. Didn't get covered that heavy. You're right, and I, I really pride myself on like watching Fox News and seeing the. Oh, other she shit. said they got the Somehow wrong got store. All the best videos I'm telling you come from independent journalists on Twitter. Fox, CNN, all of them are going to siphon everything through a filter, get whatever they want out of it. Unique, like individual journalists who like go to on the ground spots and are like, "Boom, here's a fucking video of what I got." Like that. You, know you know what a good move is though? Those journalists or those people. Also, you got to also follow the other journalists that they hate. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun to watch, like, right, because I follow all those people on both, like, the far, yeah. far right and far, far left. You see and you'll the interactions see totally and everything. Antithetical things right after each other. I but. only follow the Proud Boy Twitter, and <laughs> they've never led me astray. You just have to be careful. Like, for days, the, you know, the first shooting, the guy that was in the car lot chasing Kyle Rittenhouse, they said that yeah. he threw a, a firebomb and a Molotov cocktail at him. It was a plastic bag. And, it, and that just sort of, I don't know. How do you throw a plastic bag that's on fire? It wasn't on fire. But I saw a picture what was of in it the on bag? fire. It's a, what was in the bag? You, I don't know what was in the bag. I saw him holding that bag earlier in the night. It looked like there were clothes in it. Like I don't know why you'd throw that. But I've um I've been through the news in detail and it's a plastic bag. But yeah. it's I very difficult to make that fire. discernment in Show the it. moment, I would imagine. I'll find it. Yeah. Um it could have been a different firebomb. Lots of people were, were fucking around with fire. I'm just saying I couldn't throw a plastic bag if my life an empty on one. It. Yeah, there has to be something in there the to give you is what's hat. in it, right? Was it a brick? I heard Trump saying people were throwing soup cans. And he's like, it's perfect. It's a really good weapon. I'm paraphrasing. It's a really good weapon. It's not too heavy. I guess it, he, he felt like it was hard to throw a brick. Might be. I've never done it. Um, and then if you get caught with it. It's really kind of like, what? I just have soup. I'm feeding my hungry family. Dude, John McAfee you? would call you a bitch for having never thrown a brick at something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> I, you never, you never on heroin or bricks at car lots. <laughs> but, uh, but as I thought about it, I was like, yeah, soup is actually... It's almost perfect for this environment. What are you doing with yeah. soup? Well, I just—it's so funny that that like the soup thing came up because I was this is like nights before that happened. I was watching some bullshit f list horror movie, which I love to do, mm -hmm. and like it got to a point where like two captives like had escaped their bonds and were hiding in this house, but the captors were still right outside of the the uh, pantry, like they're one of those big rich people pantries that you can't just burst into, and all around them they're like what are we gonna do in here we got to get out they have knives and there were so many cans of soup and like beans and in my head my thought was like dude you can throw beans a can of beans fucking hard and these rich people are stocked you just have the other guy open the door and you from the other side just start firing beans out there as fast as you can break a wine but oh, that was my thought I, I, now i'm talking about the movie more than what was going on <laughs> but yeah you could fuck somebody up with a can of beans yeah dude uh... i almost so i've done a lot of research. You know who did one of the better breakdowns of the uh, sequence of events on those three shootings? Ben Shapiro. Like, and he backed it up with all the video and put it together. New York Times did a pretty good one, too. And I know you'd think that both would be biased, but I think they kind of agreed. And um, uh, it's to me, it's all about the first shooting. Was the first shooting justified? I inch towards yes, but it's not super obvious to me, right? So uh, the Kyle didn't fire first, I don't believe. Someone else fired behind him as he was fleeing, but it was into the air. Right. So, Kyle, I don't, you're running away. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if mistakenly hearing gunshots in the air makes you justified to shoot somebody else. If the person's pursuing you, it seems like it would, right? Really? Like, so if you're chasing, if you're right, me, you're chasing me and I don't see you and I hear gunshots going up behind me. Like I have a reasonable anticipation that the people chasing me and I hear gunshots, like I, I'm in grave danger. You know, I can see why you might be like fooled into thinking that, but I don't know that you're legally justified in doing that. You can't kill me because some other asshole shot bullets in the air. Right? I, I don't know about the legality of. I was just saying, like oh, I'm putting oh. myself in that situation, and it's like if I'm f running and I hear gunshots behind me and I know people are pursuing me, like I'm gonna be freaked the fuck out. 
Agreed. Be, yeah, gonna, yeah, gonna, yeah. We're on the same page there. I can see why Kyle might have mistakenly thought he was being shot at, but I'm not sure that that makes him right. Right? You know that that the the other shooter was on camera, and he was clearly like. I probably didn't even know the Kyle thing was going down. He was just shooting bullets in the air like an asshole. Um, uh, oh, oh, so Wait, one of the guys that got shot was shooting bullets in the air. No, uh, well, this guy didn't. So there's here's how it went down. Mm. Kyle brings his rifle to this like riot. It's kind of a counter. Protest. Let's call him something else. Can we do that? Rittenhouse. We're going to call him Rittenhouse. <laughs> Rittenhouse brings his that's his last name. Brings Kyle his rifle to this riot and. Uh, <laughs> He spends the day. Kyle R. Like the Bachelor, Let, like right. the Bachelor episode. <laughs> all right. So, in the daytime, he's like cleaning graffiti, and all the uh, protesters are pretty uh, um, nonviolent and stuff like that. And everything's cool, right? And he also has a medic bag. He's a lifeguard. That's what he does. Which I interpret as meaning he has some level of basic first aid, right? Because that's a lifeguard thing. Yeah. And um, and he brings his medic bag, and he's there to like. I don't know, counter protest, but also help people who get hurt and, and do his thing. Um, at some point, the Was owner counter protesting the like a, so uh, in the very beginning, like days earlier in the same t- set town, a guy named Jacob Black was killed by policemen. And that's almost a separate story. But in my mind, not a popular opinion. Good shooting. Uh, Wait, what was that? The guy outside his car? Yes. Yeah. So that guy had warrants for his arrest. The police were trying to take him in and he kind of like wrestled his way away from the police. Like as they were cuffing him, he breaks free and then the video starts and the, the policeman told him to stop. He disobeyed that. They shot him with the taser. The taser was ineffective. He works his way to the car and they're trying to open the car door and he, he goes inside opens the, car. the driver's side car door. They don't know this for sure, but they have to be worried about this kind of thing. Turns out there's a knife in the, you know, the driver's side. And as he's like leaning down, don't know if he was going for the knife, but that you could interpret it that way. There's a weapon. He has a <laughs> weapon of uh, that's his own weapon in the car. Perfect. Shit could change so fast. You you know those videos where like oh, yeah. on they, the drop of a hat, someone they, that otherwise yeah. They've impacted the way that I look at situations like this. People can act very cool and then they pull a gun out and then and it's it's light switch. All right. So anyway, the guy's leaning into his car where there is a weapon and the police shoot him seven times in the back. But the police don't know. The police think it could be a gun that he has in there. Yeah, the yeah, right. Gun pulling they don't out. know. They I, just know that he's what again they do again. know is that he wrestled away from them while he, they were trying to cuff him. A shook off the taser and kept, I want to say, driving towards the car. Is there a better word mm-hmm. than driving? You know, walking yeah. determined. No, I saw this. He was like, it was like, like it was like football, kind of like they're trying to stop him, and he's like, rub, like, yeah. I right. saw that part. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, uh, that's the lens that I see it through. Other people see an unarmed black man shot seven times in the back, right? So that that's I don't line up well, with that. that. Kind of- Mits a lot well, of the I think a child yes. because his son was there as well was a big deal, right? He had three kids. And, and in the well, car. And another another thing that got omitted from a lot of stories is that the reason the police were called in the first place is because the woman that he was kind of harassing there uh, had a restraining order against him, and he was going there and trying to take her keys and being threatening, and that's why the police were called. I didn't know so, that. I heard some yeah. other very different story, which was like he was breaking up a fight between two girls as a sweet guy, which is, I'm not saying it's true, which is what I, it's, someone said it on the internet. And they <laughs> shot him, they shot him, they shot him a lot, didn't they? Seven times. Yeah. And it took yeah. about four seconds you know, to shoot seven times. So well, how many people had guns on them? Well, all the Just cops. The police, I'm sure. The three, yeah. I think it was, it was more than one cop, right? I'm trying to, I, I remember two, seeing I the think. video. I think there two, were two I or think. three, maybe two. Yeah. It could be three. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, um, when this guy got shot, people started protesting, right? And during the daytime, as is kind of normal for these things, it's like peaceful protesting, and then nighttime falls, and shit goes down, right? So somehow or another, the owner of a used car dealership puts out the word that he needs some protection. There's already been damage to this dealership, and um, you know he would like it if people didn't damage it anymore, didn't make it worse than it is. So Kyle answers the call. And there's this dude, um, Rosenbaum or something. Anyway, white yeah, guy, bald, we're going to call him in his late 20s. And Kyle, or I keep calling him Kyle. Rittenhouse, by the way, is 17. So yeah. uh, um, Rittenhouse goes so up. This, 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 uh, this car lot put out like a, a post like on Twitter or Facebook. I... I'm a little fuzzy on that detail. I don't want to okay. get it wrong. But you okay, know, okay. word got but to then Rittenhouse this, this that he kid wanted saw help. It. 
Yeah. So it, he's a stranger to the car lot by any by any means. It's not like yes. he's just going there to help out, be a good right. citizen. That's true. There is some mind. misreporting on the internet that like it was his job to protect it or something like that. But I think that's like Oh, no one's hiring a seventeen year old mercenary with a gun to protect Thank their, you. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he he self employed on that job. <laughs> so yeah. uh, um uh but anyway, the the owner of the used car dealership asked for help, written house indirectly heard that call for help and decided to answer it. Um, he gets there and there's this guy and I'm going to call him late twenties, early thirties. And his name is Rosenbaum. And, uh, we don't know exa- this part's not on film, but in one way or another written house says, Hey, you take your hands off that car. I picture it like Marty McFly and Biff at the, at the I picture him under the Charles- sea dance. <laughs> it's better for Charles Heston and Planet of the Apes. I don't know the scene huh. that well, but um <laughs> get your damn hands up. No, get your hands up, me, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> so oh, that's good. So anyway, Rittenhouse tells him to stop. And uh I think the guy says, like, you know, F you. He doesn't have respect the authority of this seventeen year old mercenary dude. And uh um I, I I'm not sure this part's true. He was yelling, shoot me brother, shoot me brother, shoot me brother, kinda. But yeah, there's, there's a video of that. Oh, there's a video brother, He was saying that other word yeah. that we're not allowed to say anymore. Yeah, we don't say that one. <laughs> hey, and sensitivity or something. I don't know. Um, Wait, and it was word? funny seeing a, 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 the Rosenbaum guy yelling at some other white guy. That wasn't even Kyle Rittenhouse. It was just some other guy just yelling, shoot me, N-word, shoot me. And it's like, Wait, where's, what? where does Hold this on. play in? So who's uh, doing this part? Anyway, the Rosenbaum starts chasing Rittenbat, Rittenhouse, who's running. And um, the camera, like the video to me isn't super clear, but in one way or another, Rittenhouse gets like tripped up. He's the shooter Mm -hmm. and uh, and he gets caught. This is, by the way, during this chase where he threw the plastic bag at the guy and Rittenhouse is getting caught. He shoots, I think, four or five times. I think he got four hits on him. Um, What are you talking about? Rittenhouse shot Rosenbaum. This is the first shooting. And Mm -hmm. uh, he shot him. I think he hit him four times. There was a graze on the forehead, a shot in the pelvis that broke it, uh, a yes. shot in the hand, and like a shot in the back or lungs or something. But like he hit him a bunch and uh, and he killed this first guy. And to me, whether or not that self-defense is the whole crux of this thing, right? I'm trying to go down the middle on this. I've looked into the law. I, so I know North Carolina law, when you get concealed carry, they train you on it. And I read the Wisconsin law on this. And there are a lot of parallels. It's pretty similar. And so, look, if I, like, start uh, an aggressive engagement with you and then you take a swing at me, I cannot shoot you in self-defense. It's a little different, right? If I'm just casually pumping gas in my car and you start hitting me, then I can shoot in self-defense. But as the guy who initiates it, that makes it not self-defense anymore. You know, you might have escalated it, but that doesn't give me the right to be like, hey, I feared bodily harm. He was throwing punches at me. Like, they can't do that. However, if you run, right? So I say, Taylor, you're a big stinky poo-poo head. Taylor starts chasing me, and I run. <laughs> I know. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and I run, <laughs> then that's reset. That whole thing about me starting it, the fact that I'm running, like, that gets wiped off. And... I think you could make an argument that that's what happened. He definitely ran, right? So, yeah. so Rittenhouse is running. The guy chases him, throws a plastic bag, catches him, and Kyle starts shooting him and kills him. And um, therein lies the thing. Like, does that reset? Is it enough? Is the, is the actions that Rosenbaum did, throwing a plastic bag at him, and yelling at him and like invading his space and stuff because he wasn't beating on him yet or anything right he was just on his way to maybe did that justify a shooting why was he going to beat on him if he has a gun in his hand yeah that's he wasn't a clear thinker (laughs) we don't think he was a clear thinker so um so like if you just wipe out everything and say all right kyle was running he was being chased and as the guy caught up to him he started shooting is that a self-defense? That's the whole question. And then the rest of them are downstream of that, right? Like, if the first one's self-defense, the, let, me, you, let me go to the rest of them. If the yeah, first yeah. one's self-defense, the rest of them are, period, according to Woody. Um, yeah, I agree. If you, uh, on the other hand, I can't be like, all right, I was doing a school shooting. 
I shot one kid. I'll give you that one. But after that, everyone started coming after me. After that, it was self-defense. People tried to stop me, and right. you know, I, I didn't know what they were going to do to me. I was running from the school. I made it to the pre-K, and that's when they caught me. <laughs> right, right. All right. So, and these these fifth graders are just raining their little <laughs> fists down upon me, and they're shot. I was locked and loaded. Full metal jacket. So the next two. One swing of the sight. <laughs> the and next this- two are either hey. The first one's self-defense, the next two is self-defense, or the first one's an active shooter situation, the next two were trying to stop him. That that's the break. It's all hinging on the first one. And I'm I'm leading towards all self-defense, but it's not as clear cut for the me as it might be for other people. Yeah, well, like it's you what see the- you said, right? It's yeah. it what I would love to like like I feel like most court cases are so fucking boring. This would be a great time to bring back the OJ style fucking televised uh, court um, trial. And then we could follow I, it with an LA style riot. Rittenhouse can be like, these rubber gloves are Don't worry. <laughs> the Rittenhouse trial will definitely be followed by an LA style riot. If they find him not guilty, and I think there is a, a better than good chance that he okay. will be found not guilty because they're charging with first degree murder, I think. Yeah, I that's not. It was confusing to me. Yeah, I, yeah, it it, it it depends. Like like if he, if if he ends up with like a, a weapons charge, like that's that's not even a felony, which I think is what he's probably. This kid is charged with first degree murder. You're saying? Yeah, Three of them, yeah, right. And and, and I, I don't know if you want to finish Woody, but the people who they they chased him after that initial shooting that Woody's described very well. And he trips and falls to the ground, and then he's attacked by people. One guy comes and slams him in the head, shoulder area with a with a skateboard. He gets shot. Another guy comes with a pistol in his hand, points it at the kid. The kid shoots that guy, and so, and, and I think that's it, right? Two kills and a wound. I think I was wrong about three murders. Yeah. So, so the um, you know, the the second two people who attacked him were both armed with deadly weapons. One of them with a firearm. And he shot both of them. So those aren't. Did they draw weapons on him. Yeah, one, one of them did, hit well, him, uh, weapons. One of them on the show, but Harley, I just uh, did a slow mo of what when he's on the ground. If you want to play that one. Yeah, let me check that out. Yeah, now those are the next two. Those are the ones that I think you need to look yeah. through that uh, fork in the road. Lens. Oh, that's him on the ground. Yeah. 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 So in those two, in, if if that right. was the start this, of it. Sorry, just for time's sake, like the timeline. He's already shot a person at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's he already shot, shot the person. first guy. So depending yeah. on the the fork in the road that you take, this is either people trying to stop an active shooter, which I tend to lean against, or this is him killing two more and people. We, there's no video footage of the first person being shot. There is. Uh, or wait, yeah, there's no video of the first person being shot. There's video of what leads up to it. It's like, but it's almost like it runs behind a car. And you can't really see. Yeah. That's why I think he's going to be found not guilty, dude. Like, like okay. I, I think this guy's going to get off, and some cities are going to burn. Well, if, yeah. If he gets here's off, what I actually be- think, and it's not based on like law as much as it is like, I don't know, intuition. I, I think they're going dude, to. I, I think they're going to accept a sort of minor plea. Like he'll plead guilty. And get 120 days house arrest or something like 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 I think it's gonna fall down this no one's happy. Are, are, are those shots at the end of the video still him or is that someone else shooting somewhere elsewhere or something? So in that last yeah. video, he shoots the guy in the chest uh, and kills the him. Comes, who, the, who, guy who, the guy that comes and attacks him. The guy comes with the skateboard. Uh, he sh- and tries to. You watch the guy with the skateboard swings and then tries to pull the gun from him, but the guy has one of those straps that keeps the gun on your chest. Then he shoots that guy in the chest. He dies, and then the other guy comes at him, does a fake surrender, and then as he's as Kyle's gun apparently jammed, he he came out with a gun, and then Kyle shot or Rittenhouse shot the guy's bicep area that was holding the gun. Are you telling so me he cleared a malfunction during this? That's what I was seeing. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm watching him do it. Oh, we need to send him. So, him so, to, so you, you see this kid's an finger. operator. Look at him at like twelve. I know it's slow mo, but I like, like Kyle's seconds. idea. I sentenced this guy of six months of firearm instruction as the teacher. If Trump had his way, this guy would be on like the the fucking marine recruitment, like you know those 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 uh, those ridiculous like uh, aren't. And the, you know they show the like what it's like to be in the navy. Yeah. yeah, the navy commercial. When you look, it's like holy shit. That's 
That's like a hop, skip, and a jump from being a fucking Halo drop trooper. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we're going to have the power over soon, I'm sure. And I just see the recruiter like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just sign right here. Just sign right here. Yeah. I remember watching those commercials and being, when I was maybe like 14, and being like, damn, does everybody get a sword? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. And that was my thought. I'm like, that's sick. Do. <laughs> to wrap Don't up they? like that 15 minute yeah. layout, I think it all comes down to. If a guy chases you and you fall while he's chasing you, are we good there to shoot him? Is that still yeah, self-defense? Yeah, if they're pursuing you with deadly intent, sure. Yeah. I'm oh, Googling sure, all sure. The if they're pursuing with deadly intent, like if he had a gun or and knife in his hand. Were, they were trying to fuck him up. No, we were on yeah. the next two. I'm on the first one. The, oh, first one. Okay. Yeah, on the first so, well, one. What was the situation with the very first one? The He what, was vandalizing what? cars, and Rittenhouse approached him, said, you need to stop. The guy's like... F you suck my dick. Yeah, yeah. Starts chasing the written house. Written house falls, shoots him as he catches up. I yeah, but there's no if video. Someone, of that. If someone that came to me, and I don't know how the law is, but maybe if someone came to me and pointed a gun at me and I chased them and they killed me, that's self defense. I mean, that's not self defense. He, if, if I pointed a gun at you and then you came at me to kill and I shot you, is that self-defense? Like, isn't pointing a gun like a major Here, act of aggression? So I think you're right. But the difference between what you described and what happened is the running away. If I come and point the gun at you and say, stop, and then that escalates, it's not self-defense. If I say stop and you're like, fuck you, and I run away, there's a reset. And that's in the law. There's a Wait, reset. Wait, who ran? Who ran away? The here? gunman, the guy with the, the, with the gun, Rittenhouse, ran away. So I said, "Hey, Carly, you better stop." And Harley, you said, "I'm still not scared of you." And I was like, "Fuck!" And then right? you ran away. Yeah. And then as I'm running away, I trip and fall, and you catch me, and then I do the shooting. So that's different than like just I I initiate the conversation with a gun. I uh, I ran away, so it kind of resets from there. I'm running. You're I chasing. know why. I know why he's charged with first first degree murder. Because he brought a gun. That's that's what it is. Because he, yeah, he. I mean, there is like, and I know, I know, in the past at least, I don't know where everyone stands still, but like, I see like racism to an extent where there isn't necessarily obvious racism. Okay. And I could like at least gather, and it's not not something that would ever hold up in court, but like, uh, I think like you know. Having a a, a a Blue Lives Matter post is a statement. It's a statement in itself, and and to to get like an assault rifle and head down there to protect. Like I think you're you're like you're you're posting your thing as Blue Lives Matter. That's your profile picture. So I know you're about police. Don't you trust in the system that the police can protect it? Like. If you like, if Blue Lives Matter, does your assault rifle thrown in the mix mean something, or is that going to be a negative for the police as well? Like, aren't you complicating the job? Like, at no point did the police ever say we need helpers, and you're like Blue Lives Matter, so you have faith in the force, so don't go and bring the gun. You have faith in the force, or you're saying Blue Lives Matter as a counter post to the other Black Lives Matter out there, and you're going down there with the gun to post up with the gun, and, like, if anyone's going to fuck around, like, it's just, like, I'm kind of, like, choked that a 17-year-old and a good one, too, who's going down there to, like, wash graffiti and shit also has to bring the assault rifle and think in his head, like, this kid's ready to pull a trigger. Like, I being think ready to pull a trigger is a big deal. I think when like, I pulled the trigger with you, Kyle, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like in the woods. Yeah, but you're Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I like your the, country's like really special in that sense. You I know, like the definition of vigilante. I was like, "Can I use this word? It seems a little strong, right?" Like a member of a self-appointed group of citizens who undertake law enforcement in their community without legal authority, typically because legal agencies are thought to be inadequate. 
but he's like Blue Lives he's Matter. Vigilante, does it sound, right? That's what I was saying about the Blue Lives Matter. Does it sound like he what thinks that, they're inadequate? So he's like a he, he, he believes some in cadet school, like you know, a thing that like he's a yeah. He was in like a junior policeman. police officer training thing. Yo, this guy, I believe, he went down there just in my heart. Police. This kid went down there in his mind. Best case scenario, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna body some people. Dude, I so think he went me, down there with that mentality. Let me expand on that thought, right? I think that you're not crazy for thinking that. Like it, the argument that you could put forward is like, and this is sort of where the right's coming from. This guy is really passionate about protecting used car dealerships. That's what he was all about. He did not bring an assault rifle to a protest or riot, if you call it that, because. You know, he wanted to body people. No, 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 no. He's really passionate about making sure used cars aren't damaged. That's that's where his heart lies. And he never wanted to hurt anyone. He just likes protecting used cars. And you're like, man, I don't know. You have to wonder if he fantasized about killing people. You know, you're I, think, I, I, I don't think that's something that would fly in court. But yeah. in my heart, it's just the way I see it is like this guy went down there to fucking pull the trigger I think and he was he, ready to do it i think i think what he's guilty of is being a fucking goober i mean look at this guy's picture first of all he's a goober. little out of date right like we saw him on that <laughs> yeah day. but i like I, I prefer to use this picture okay. like like mm-hmm. i'll use the picture of trayvon martin i want and i'll use the picture of this guy i want and there's nothing racist about either thing i just think it's funny to do it <laughs> and so this guy looks like a goober to me and he's 17 fucking years old i couldn't even fuck this guy if i wanted to he's so young right like like that's I, I don't know. I don't no, think, sixteen. You I don't can think consent. we should be like. I don't think we're gonna, what I'm saying is we can't really get in this guy's head and be like, ah, I bet he was thinking this or thinking that. Fucking seventeen year old me was doing some crazy shit. Now I will say this: well, I, well, I wasn't bringing fucking an AR-15 out in public anywhere, any fucking where, you know. And I, I had one, and I wouldn't well, have done that. But I, I think he's guilty of being a fucking goober. It's and, not the time for your country to hype up goobers, though, for doing anything with an assault rifle because it's always a goober. I've never ever looked at a person like, and I'm I'm not going to say like I I, I will. I, I'm only comparing it to a school shooter in the sense that it's a young kid ready to pull the trigger and take a life. In that sense, regardless of whatever's behind it, publicly or in our heads, I'm just going to say I never look at a guy that sets out with the gun and goes out and, and actually gets it and kills people. I never look at that picture and go, that's a fucking cool ass dude. It's always a goober. Mm. So I feel like it's bad timing in this world to hype up a goober for killing anyone or doing anything with the gun. Even if he showed up with the gun, I, I'd be like, God, someone can get this kid back home. Why does he even have this mm. gun? So I like, send re- him home. Like, cause you're right. Like, we, like his brain, we can't talk about it. Because we don't know. Because literally, what you said, like you couldn't even fuck can't him. Even like, fuck he's him. not. He can't even make it's that decision. Shame. But he took a life. You know what I mean? Like that's that's really crazy. That's, I why, think- that's another one of the reasons I think he's not guilty as well. Is like like first of all, like he, he is he a child or not? Like like how old is seventeen? I can't. That fuck I him. think is a whole other statement. You're right. I wanna- Listen, if this kid was twenty two, I I I'd say guilty. Like so- I don't. I'm not about it. I I think I think even if like coming with the skateboard did he ever think that guy was going to kill you i read that guy was apparently trying to protect people around is that guy going to murder you that you shoot him like that like there's a lot yeah, of I, I shoot, of it that yeah. i would say guilty I shoot yeah. the guy with the skateboard i'd shoot the guy with the skateboard too and i'd definitely shoot the guy who's standing over me with a pistol to what was going to happen if they if they got their hands on him is they were going to beat the fucking shit out of him and maybe murder him right there because it wasn't just going to be. You're those. right. You're right. And that's why, like, he shouldn't have even been there. And it played out fortunately for him. But I do. Th- sorry. I don't think those guys are killing anyone that night without him being there. I don't think anyone is getting killed that night. Ah, I don't think anyone can't say that. Now, if you flip that rationale who, to a rape, but who are they going to, who are these guys going to kill though? Like that night, who, who was skateboard guy going to smash in the face with a skateboard. Here's if this I'm kid saying, wasn't here with the gun, you know, I don't, I don't think that's fair to say. Cause if you flip that same rationale to a woman who's, who's dressed scantily outside of a club who gets raped and you're like, Hey, these guys weren't out to rape. Look what she's wearing. Look where she is. I don't think you can blame her. I'm a lot more comfortable with girls walking around in sexy clothing than I am with 17-year-olds with assault rifles. So am I. You can fuck them. Tasked. (laughs) (laughs) He's tasked. Like, bro, fuck fuck the car lot. Like, no life is worth the car lot. If you wanted to protect the car lot, cool. Like, 
did you like just coming with the gun is like it's country's getting a little crazy so let me jump in that uh, one he's being tried as an adult that's that's a fact i think it's yep. wrong if we're talking about oh, i think that's wrong too yeah it yeah. comes from a position of how dumb i was until 20 or so so like but I, wait why is he tried as an adult how did they decide that already is that something they get to appeal i, I don't know enough right. about law in wisconsin uh, law anyone 17 year older is treated as an adult oh, it's that insane. simple yeah, probably. I think it's 16 you can consent in most of the states <laughs> I look into. I don't Colorado, but Wisconsin's looking awful. <laughs> so the other thing there. I wanted to put, like we're talking about legally, I is, the law I'm reading, I'm not a lawyer, but I think when we talk about whether it was defense or not, it all starts at the chase. Like the law uses the term reset, right? When he when he ran, he reset everything. So the whole bring in the gun, stopping the car, the yelling, no, no. It picks up from this guy running and being chased. And then But this can- is a story that is a side of the story, correct me if I'm wrong, that comes from probably the seventeen year old side, no? Because this is a side of the side of the story that benefits him. Or like this is someone's side of the story, isn't it? Like the whole reset aspect, who, who oh. brought that up? Or, or did you come up with that in your yourself looking at the scenario? I read the Wisconsin law on self defense. That's where it came from. So, like, the, who's, who's side saying that the running part? The running sounds like it just sounds so weird to me that you point a gun, you're like, don't move, motherfucker. Oh, that's and he's on like, video. I will move. And then you're like, I'm sorry. And he leaves. That's, uh, that on part's video. that's on video. Yeah. Oh, that so that part we can't even count. It means nothing, is what you're saying, right? I'm so, so, wait, because I don't of that, think I understood like, what you're getting at. Well, once he ran away, you're saying this is the, all the evidence we've seen before. So you're saying that it's reset like it doesn't even count. I'm saying that according to Wisconsin law, when he runs away, all the other like escalation and approach and stuff is reset, right? And it took me a while to go through it. But if I start an argument with you with my gun out, it's really hard for me to claim self-defense, even if you threw the first punch, right? Right. Because I kind of started. But if I start an argument with you with my gun out and then run away, well, there's a reset. And now, now I can claim self defense because. But now, in the in in law, like or just in court, how it could play out coming from someone who knows nothing, running away is such a vague term. Because, hmm. like, by all intents and purposes, we're holding a gun now, and you've made a, 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 a an aggressive point of telling someone something. They said no. Like a tactical retreat is still within the realm of. You this can see th- there's fight. a video of him. He cl- he runs away, and this dude's chasing him down, and he gets back into a corner, and he shoots the guy. Yeah, there's Fuck, a video. Man. You do not chase a kid with an assault rifle. What no, not fuck? in America. Are you insane? No. <laughs> you know what? Here. There's a lot of pride there. If you're a grown ass man and a kid points the gun on you, you're like mad. You're like young man. You better fucking pull the trigger, and you better not miss. Are we that shit that's on me? Not what I do. No, no, that's not that's what, what I, I would do. I go. I'm just, all right, me, me I too. won't be fucking up any cars tonight. But I, I can see there's, sir. I, I can see people. There's a lot of pride. <laughs> there's a lot of pride out there. I could imagine someone doing that. I would never. I'm with you. There's I'd be a like, lot bro, of stupidity. I don't I'd care like, if yeah. this kid is a child soldier. I don't care if he's eight and he's got an AK and he's like, fuck I you, don't with put you. your job on the ground. I'd be like, you want me to pick it up with my mouth? But you know, <laughs> but you know, you baby dick, if it'll know, be for lighting me up with that 762, little man. <laughs> but like, you know, people will, though. You know, people out there will be like, fuck you, pull the gun on me. Boy, you better pull the trigger. That's not me. But I just assume some people yeah, are like, well, like you point a gun at someone. There are some people where they're like, you have to kill me now. Like just well, for the act of doing that. Not you as don't many as there were. Me. Yeah. So the same type of guy that wants to light a car lot on fire, I guess, potentially, you know, if, is that what he was doing? Was this guy lighting the car lot on fire? He was, he was, that's what he was working on that. But, but like, I guess you make a good point there that like the guy who's in the business of lighting car dealerships on fire might not be the most reasonable and business person. Is good. <laughs> <laughs> and business yeah. is good. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Still well, I feel bad. Blood. I, I feel bad. <laughs> Because we are talking about uh, about a guy that was killed, and he's actually We're not dead, in the I, peaceful protest business. We in the car dealership burning business. I want to. I want them to get a video of a guy like <laughs> burning a business or something. They're like, what are you here for? And he's like, I'm totally apolitical. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm more of a just watch sports kind of guy. I just saw this happening. I don't. I don't know what this is about, but man, I wanted some stuff. 
Like I want to I want to see that guy. Just some guy is like, "What do you think about Trump? What do you think about Black Lives Matter?" He's like, "That's for the birds, my friend. I'm lighting cars on fire here. What do you not understand?" <laughs> Sir, what are you doing this to say? Once again, I'm lighting cars on fire. <laughs> I'm here what to say, say that on days are crazy flammable. So you're Watch telling this. people to buy American. Is that why you chose Toyota? No. <laughs> I'm here to light cars on fire. I'm going to go burn the Chrysler dealership just to show you I'm not oh, I'm not playing favorites. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. I, I, I think that's a huge percentage of the people that are out there. Like like they're not out there to send a message. They're they're out there because it's like it's Halloween, right? It's it's time to it's fucking run around and get up some hygiene. Lawless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a lot of people like that. I, I posted a video here. This isn't serious, but it came from the same night as that shooting. And let's let's queue up and watch this. It's just we a couple. Can watch, what is this? One American news? Is it uh, real news? It's the, it's the one I just linked. The Josh. A, we'll give it a try. We'll see what the one with the Blackhawk. Yeah, I don't. It, it's not a political thing. It's just a silly thing. Right. So ready? Gonna down, buddy. Set. Play. wouldn't do an on-camera interview and they haven't told us how many people were struck but eyewitnesses say that it was definitely a scary sight and i was just going to taco bell and then i hear some gunshots and i'm like all right uh, i guess taco bell can wait <laughs> wouldn't do an on-camera interview <laughs> <laughs> why would they put that on the news <laughs> taco bell's gotta wait because taco bell's gotta wait and <laughs> he sees stoned in the interview still <laughs> that would be my guess but yeah Either way, I think uh, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more riots, a lot more. Riots I hope so, and, man. I, look, you hope so. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Um, it's this one because you know that because this is what we train for. <sighs> <sighs> no, not anymore. <laughs> Are they? Uh, <laughs> the, um, yeah, that's what I was. Doing, my my VR archery, I guess. I'm not <laughs> even allowed to have a bow. So the uh, you know, Aww. it seems like most people have forgotten that we're supposed to be locked down. Um, one little thing that I do find interesting is that the, it seems like it's mostly the left who are pushing for these mail-in ballots to do the voting because the coronavirus. But then Al Sharpton leads that like gigantic procession of people at the Washington Monument, like 150,000 people or something like that, touching like it's a fucking concert. That doesn't mesh for me. But... What I was really yeah. gonna wanted to talk about was like, it seems like everybody forgot that we're supposed to be locked the fuck down so we can get rid of this goddamn virus so we can go back to going to the movie theaters. I want to see Tenet. I want to see Tenet so fucking bad. It's in Tenet. 70 millimeter. It's the new Christopher Nolan movie. It's like James Bond on crack. Mm. It's, it's in mm. 70 millimeter here in Atlanta. I could be going to that shit, but no, no. Fucking Billy Bob can't wear a fucking dust mask. He cuts his yard with one on, but you ask him to go to his favorite place in the world, Walmart, and <laughs> wear one, and it's fucking Oppression. communism all of a sudden. Any the trouble. Kyle Rittenhouse trial is happening right now. I saw a little it of done? it yesterday. Uh, it's kind of it just leading off. There's some new footage that we've never seen before. There's like... I think it's CIA, literally CIA drone footage where you can see it from above. And um, so there's some new information that's coming out during the trial. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm still learning. I, I, my opinion hasn't changed too much. It's all down to that first shooting, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like, it was an area that was like cleared by the police and sort of What's made that? and written house. The man is just really passionate about protecting used cars. That's I think that's what it comes down to. He, he, uh, what he's what he's some Americans still care about their communities. It's uh it's a real <laughs> it's a real cry and shame um to see that you're not amongst amongst them. Um, <laughs> if you wouldn't hold a spear in front of a used Toyota dealership, you're not even an American. <laughs> when I stand in front of Jim Chronic Toyota, I'm ready to die, god damn it. You wanna burn that you wanna burn that Tacoma? Burn me first. That's Not what that's I Yeah, that's I'm what defending this place that would fuck me and try and trick me into getting like extra financing. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, would me, they would sell me they would sell me Yeah. You show um, up and defend the dealership. We'll give you five percent off your next purchase. <laughs> let's yeah. uh oh, it's even better than the factory warranty. <laughs> <laughs> let's do uh let's do ignorant gambling then, uh which is the the, the <laughs> what I'm gonna call this this new new game, um, which is where we gamble on what we think will happen in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. 
knowing very little about the situation. Um, I, cause I don't want to do any research. That was, that was like years ago now or like two years ago, maybe. Yeah. I'm Sorry. fuzzy on the facts now. So I, 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 I think he goes free. I think he goes free. I think he's all good. I think he, I think he goes to jail. Oh, perfect bet. You guys are on the opposite sides. How yeah. much money are you putting down on this, gentlemen? I don't want to go sissy on this, so I'm going to say five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got to—it's got to have a little. It's got to be goosed up a little I, more I was, than that. I, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bet. I didn't know that was going to be a joke when he said, "I don't want to be sissy on this." I was like, "Damn, are we about to bet five hundred dollars on this?" Because I'm not so that I sure. Going with it too. I, I, I was. I, w- I was like, I don't want to bet 500, but I guess. <laughs> he said five, I'm not going to back down now. Yeah, you well, look like a bitch. Well, Jesus Christ. Um, okay, yeah, how about I'll, 50? I'll, I'll, I mean, you, I'll, it's all about the trophy anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not involved, uh, so I can I can amp it up as much as I All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, uh, I'll bet five bucks. How about uh, 5% of your net worth? Let's, <laughs> let's, not, let's not get crazy here. Now, this is how high about, risk. <laughs> I, I, um, no. Uh, how about how about five dollars? And uh, I bet that Kyle Rittenhouse goes free because I caught about I'm not exaggerating 30 seconds of his defense yesterday or what I took to be his defense, and it seemed pretty good. I'll go this way I'm gonna add a little uh tie if he serves less jail time than Kyle, it's a tie. If he serves more, then I win. So he needs to I go. He needs to get a jail, a length, a, a, a stay that's more than two months. Not that's not. What he's, I, I think if he serves less time than me, I win. Oh no! You've just increased your thing. I added a tie condition because it was jail or not, and now you're trying to to push into my territory. Oh, yeah, I want five dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's five bucks. Sorry. I feel like it's fair. I'm, 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 you have to give Woody odds. But because what the reason I say yeah, that now I want odds. Now I here's want why I say that. Here's why I say that. You're going to come here's... into my territory. No, 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 no. Here's why I say that. <laughs> because because if they if he's if he's not guilty on like I don't even know the charges, but let's say he's not guilty on like murder, assault with a deadly weapon, but he's guilty of like negligent discharge of a firearm, mm-hmm. and they give him like because of community service, I think I still win. Like community if they get him, sure. But it's if they about get him, the length of jail time. Was your fair, 60 or 56 60. days? I believe it was 58 or 60 days. It was one or the other. All right. So I'll, we'll go to 60. He needs yeah. to get sentenced to more than 60 days. I win. Less than 60 days. Nobody wins. Zero. Kyle wins. Or it may have been exactly, exactly 60, 60. days. No, 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 no. What it was was I was, I was sentenced to 60 days, but... The first day and the last day count. Okay. And Should so the first day, I 58 full days and the, either oh, the I other see. two. Yeah. So the morning of and the evening of. For 59 know. nights. Yeah, because that's how that worked. Because like the day I got there, um, I checked in at like 11 a.m. or noon, maybe. I think around noon. And uh, the day I left, I, I think I got out at like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., something like that. Zach says three murders and two gun charges. Interesting. Yeah, gun charges. I, I don't think you typically go to jail for that. We'll see. But um, yeah, it, it depends. Oh, what they it, are. I didn't because, realize he killed three. I thought he killed two and had a um, an injury. Yeah, I thought that. No, I thought the same. Quite hero. Um, like, like when well, you, when I don't you, know about hero. We'll see. Quite we're going to find out. Quite the marksman is undeniable. Uh, How many that shots guy did needs he fire? To, I don't know. He fired like. Five shots disabled three people. It was really impressive. I mean, in a high stress situation, well, like he's getting headshots from his ass shooting upwards. Well, that you know, was people, uh, he didn't people always ask the head there. I don't think. I think people he was always getting, ask about. Yeah, go ahead. Guests, um, you know, like, 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 would you have OJ Simpson as a guest? And it's like, of course, we would have mm-hmm. OJ Simpson as a guest. But this Kyle Rittenhouse guy seems like fucking plutonium, right? I don't even think I'd want to talk to him. Really? Why not? What? what makes him so I untouchable? Like, I feel like it's a super controversial uh, thing. Oh no! And normally, right here gays. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah like, I was gonna you know, say, where's the jizz biz, Kyle? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, but the jizz biz is funny, but but shooting black people isn't. Did he shoot? I don't think people? he shot any black people. I don't think he shot three white people. Really? Yeah. What are so we, so we, mad we, about? Uh, when this happened, we watched it, and because uh, I remember, like, we, we watched that clip of uh, 
of uh, him like blowing that guy's bicep off. The guy who was coming in with a skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Shot his his bicep off. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But you guys have to remember what side you're in on this because so many of these bets don't get resolved for like eight months and then no one remembers what side they were on and everyone says they were on the winning side. <laughs> well, so we've got video evidence right here. There's always people to like keep up with this sort of thing for us. That's, that's it's the been best two years part since of. I've said this, but I, so I'll repeat it again. The, the next two sh victims are all about the first one, right? If the first one was self-defense, then the next two were also, right? Then they're just crazy people also coming after him if the first one was a murder then the other two people were heroes taking out an active shooter it's it's all whether or not the first one was justified i thought we all watched it and we're like yeah i don't remember even seeing video of the first thing really but like the second two where there were people trying to attack him i think we all came down saying like yeah he was being attacked he was being attacked but let's say i'm a school shooter right and it's like all right, I shot one I kid. I'll it. admit that was bad. Mm -hmm. But the, after that, I was just defending myself. Wasn't he running away? And they, they were... Yeah, same thing with a school shooting. Right? Like, like, you know, like, all right, so I killed the, the first kid. And then after that, all these teachers came after me. It's just self-defense. <laughs> I see. What I was a block from. away. Yeah. And, and the, that gym teacher, man, the cardio on that guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, like, whether or not they're heroes the going teacher. for an active shooter or whether or not they're a mob attacking him, is based on whether the first one was justified. According Did they to get more footage from the, the CIA drone on the first one? Why have Why have none of yeah, us yeah you even get to see said anything about the fact that there was a CIA drone present? Whoa, BLM yeah, protest. I bet that's rare. A, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess there would be, right? Like, it, it's there was like a big planned protest. Rittenhouse wasn't there by happenstance. He had like a medic bag on an AR-15. Probably wasn't he was even patrolling there for him. the street, there for the dealership. The <laughs> Looking for so, like. Everything about this, this guy now. just screams like winner and <laughs> and, 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 and definitely and, have him on the show now. <laughs> and, 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 and public servant. That's that's what I that's what I'm hearing. You're telling me so. that uh, what do, do we do we know roughly what time it was? I think maybe 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at no, night. No clue. You know, it's a, it's at night. Yeah. It, it, self defense it's, hour. It's a it, it's probably a week it we uh, a, a week night weekend night whatever. You know this this young man could be off doing drugs. Or, uh -huh. uh, or uh, you know, do, or harming Corollas. You know, he, he, could be, he could be out there roughing up Corollas. You know, he being a miscreant. Look, look, look at that! Look at that! Look at that bright young man. Um, and, and, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look dim. At you all. know what? You know what? You know what? Young That's Kyle Rittenhouse does on a. I'm gonna make it up a Tuesday evening. He's out uh, there with his medic bag. Okay, walking mm -hmm. the streets trying to help people, and That's and it. yes, he has a firearm that he's not supposed to have. Yeah, um, sometimes people don't need the medic bag, and you know. You, well, you want to still be able to help. Well, one sets you know, the other up nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to feel obsolete out there. Well, yeah. You don't need any bandages. Well, how about <laughs> now? Yeah, you will. Now? <laughs> That's Better start bandage. running. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I guess I just don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I, I feel like the legal system is, uh, is, is not too different than the judging and boxing. <laughs> uh, I disagree. I think this, I don't know what the judgment's going to be, but I do think it will be right. And the reason I say that is there's so much video. Like when you saw New York Times like reconstruct everything, and actually, um, I think it was Ben Shapiro did a really good job on it too, just from the right and the left. They both came to the same sort of conclusion of the order of events and what happened because there was so much video. They all put it together and you could see this trial comes along and they add some drone footage which shows an aerial view of like sort of who went to who, like they're 60 feet apart. Mm -hmm. One guy went to the other to, you know, like engage. And that matters to me. That kind of says guy? a thing. I wish I remembered with confidence. I would have said it. No. I don't, I don't remember. That's an thing. important part of it. <laughs> yeah. I want to, I want to say Rittenhouse. Yeah. Rittenhouse. If I'm right, went to the guy he killed to like engage him, protect cars. I would, I would say. And then, that guy didn't buckle like he expected and chased Rittenhouse, who then shot him. I believe Rittenhouse was originally offering him some water. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. He was he was, he was his, right. Rittenhouse he was like, as a trained 
as a trained Eagle Scout and medic, is fully aware <laughs> that the big look dehydrated. I can see that from the across biggest threat, the biggest threat, the first threat, dehydration, dehydration. By the light of that co Molotov <laughs> cocktail flying by your head, I could see you look dehydrated. So he I, said, what? "Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, I noticed that you've been around those dumpster fires and uh, all night. You've been you know? yelling you, a lot. Yeah, you, I see you're, you're drinking, drinking a forty there. Water. That alcohol is not serving to hydrate you. Would you? Would you like <laughs> some water? And they attacked him." Um, mm -hmm. You're going to hydrate tonight. one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls his gun he was trying to hydrate them. <laughs> and if anyone should get odds, it's me, because I, I think that like the media has already convicted this guy long ago. Um, I, I, I you know, They were making like a big that. deal when like um, uh, that coffee company had like some of the like management or something like that took pictures with Kyle or something like that. Coffee uh, company? Maybe. Yeah, I don't I don't to it. yeah, was it Black Rifle Coffee? Might have been. Might have been. <laughs> <sighs> you know, that's interesting. They're like, I, I love uh, Richard Ryan, but they're almost my pillow adjacent in there. Like, our customers are Republicans, and uh, that's just what we market to. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Both teams drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Both teams drink coffee, okay? Like, but like they like, don't both drink Black Rifle coffee. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. I guess not. Uh, <laughs> we need to start a company called but, No Rifle But if you're selling coffee, coffee, you want everybody... I, I just don't know why I'm being divisive. Look, I bet they sell a lot of fucking coffee. It just never made sense to me to have like a politically divisive coffee brand. And I'm, I'm, I'm positive that's not what they set out to be. Okay, there is, there is <laughs> not a company called No Rifle Coffee. <laughs> so we can, we can take advantage Lock of down. the other side of this. No, <laughs> that's our next yeah. merch idea. <laughs> no rifle yeah. coffee. And instead of like flavoring your coffee, you just get one of those pills you guys are pushing these days. Yeah, the ejaculate. Yeah, yeah. You'll you get, get a couple love. shots of that in there. Would you? Would you like some like ejaculate? milky white out of like a big pump? <laughs> would, you like some, uh, would you like some ejaculate enhancement? Because right. if if you would like like two or three bottles, then we can uh, send you the link and you could purchase them. Uh, me. <laughs> very kind of you. Like a five percent discount. Awesome. Ten percent. Ten percent. Amazing. We just sent you the link and you can buy some. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> I do. I I should ping him up. I want a, a silly Ooh. amount. Like it. I think he'd do that for us. Well, like, what's hey, a, what's another stupid name for a like safety on caught? No, because that's still a gun. What what's a an anti gun product we could make and take advantage of this to be the foil to black rifle coffee? Hands what do people coffee. who who don't like guns like? Have an armed coffee? Hands up coffee? Conscientious objection coffee. Don't shoot coffee. Don't flower shoot. barrel coffee. Um, no, that sounds like uh, pussy coffee. Pussy coffee. <laughs> that we might be stepping on uh, that celebrity that's like selling pussy scented candles. Gwyneth so, oh, Paltrow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, she'll kick your ass. She's an Avenger. Yeah. yeah, she's Tony Stark's girl, so she gets a. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. If she's literally an Avenger. She's in the Avengers. Is or if that was a a righteous pedophile trying to take him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I saw this analysis saying that the defense was doing really well, and I'm like, I don't know what to make of this. I'm reading this on like a, a biased site or whatever. The prosecution has lowered the or is signaled that they're going to lower the charge. So uh, I have some things in front of me. Did, did you see the clip where the, the defense attorney goes like this and puts his hand in his head? When, yeah, I did. When his main, uh, so this, the guy who survived, you got his bicep blown off. They're like, mm. so you didn't, you didn't have a gun. He's like, no, well, I had a gun. So, like, okay. But you approached him and you didn't have the gun out. He's like, yes. So you didn't have the gun out when you approached him. Well, I did pull the gun out. Okay, but he shot at you before you pointed the gun at him. Well, I did pull the gun out and pointed at him, and then I sh he shot. Like, and the the defense attorney. I'm obviously I'm fucking truncating all this, but the defense attorney. There's a picture of him You're going talking about the prosecution. Oh, or prosecution. I'm so sorry. Going oh, <laughs> oh just like so like yeah. it's, this this whole thing is done now. So I, I saw that I saw it as a still picture, and I'm like, I don't know what to make of a still picture, right? Because mm -hmm. you know, silly sure. things can happen. Um, but here's where I did put a lot of faith. Um, let's see, prosecutor prosecutors say they plan to ask the judge to 
consider lesser versions of the charges. Lesser charges include reckless homicide rather than intentional homicide, second degree rather than first degree. And that sums up. They're giving up the prospect of life imprisonment imprisonment, and going for some smaller stuff. It doesn't say what that would be. Mm -hmm. So um, I was like, wow, if the prosecution is going for lesser charges, then I have some undeniable truth that it's going well for Kyle. Right yeah. Now. yeah. You're going to yeah, get that five so bucks, too. man. Mm, I, uh, yeah, well, two we'll, months. He might we'll go for there. more than two months. We'll see. I bet the guy gets... I don't know. I'm still suck at the fact that like this guy went to defend, you know, like you can't murder people to head off some misdemeanors at the pass. Like, you know, but I have his, a good his... authority. That guy was about to commit a misdemeanor. So I went over there with my R15 to straighten him out. And then when he came at me, it was self-defense. That's not how the law works. And that's not what happened. I'm listening. What's your version? Yeah. What, what, what the defense says happened is that he was pursued by this guy who tried to take his gun and then he fired after he tried to take the gun before he was pursued because that is all true mm -hmm. he went to that guy he went to that guy to straighten him out to prevent him from doing anything written house didn't approve of rather than that guy saying whoa whoa gun he's like what you gonna fucking shoot me and that goes after him no i, I mm -hmm. added the quote <laughs> and and that's the uh that's the whole like written house was running from him yeah well before he ran from him he went over to him before he ran from him, he initiated contact with So his he gun initiated a conversation said, and then someone tried to take his gun. So what you're saying here is Kyle Rittenhouse is kind of a Batman type character. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's one way a to bit view like it. like the Punisher, maybe. <laughs> I, I hear where you're coming from. Right? And, and to me, it's, I mean, I'm coming out of this kind of bias, but I also I'm the only guy on this side. Um, the, the question is, is it okay to take your gun and to say, hey, don't scratch a car, bro. If you do, you know, you'll have to deal with me. Like, can't. No, you shouldn't do that. And he's a fucking retard for doing it. Like, you, you should. Hero is the word you're looking for. Well, yep. I'm going to stick with retard for, <laughs> for, for doing what he did. Like, you, you, you ever watch like a superhero movie and you, you can't understand how that moment happens where the public turns on Spider Man and they like, right? it. yeah, Taylor's that guy. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, we don't need you slinging your web. <laughs> yeah, Get out of here, right, you yeah. fucking I freak. Yeah. <laughs> that is the funniest part of Spider-Man where they're like, Get out of here, you fucking web slinging asshole. And it's like, <laughs> he just saved you from murder. Like, <laughs> like, like 30 minutes Why ago. Why are they so prejudiced against a Spider-Man? Like, like, no one knows what his race is, what his politics uh, are. He it's because people fear spiders and they attribute that to him, I bet. If he was uh, fucking Pelican, Pelican Man, legs. no one would care. They'd like him, but he'd eat all their fish. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. Like, Rittenhouse engaged this guy, made sure that he wasn't going to damage any cars. When the guy said, when the guy went after Rittenhouse, then, um, you know, there was a shooting. But that's, like, make it some parallel situation where you're at a mm -hmm. bar or something, and, and, like, you come up to me with your gun, start some shit, and then I come after you. You're not in defense. It's anymore. kind of the start some shit thing that, like, we need to know more about. Because, like, that... That's really what it comes down to. Like, were, were they talking and, and Rittenhouse started fucking with him, poking at him or something? Or did that guy come and immediately try to grab the gun? And, and like that overhead CIA drone footage was so goddamn blurry that I have no idea what happened. There. I saw a version of it with the people circled that helped me watch it. Like, you know, this is Kyle. Mm -hmm. This is this guy. And you got to see them come and go. But um, uh, there's footage of Kyle Rittenhouse like talking about shooting people for shoplifting uh, from like months earlier. Like, yeah, there's a shoplifter here. Like we should shoot those guys. And it's like, yeah, well then that's troubling. Like you've got I, a bit of a hard on for like prevention justice? misdemeanors. See, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's, that's, over that's a thousand. pretty that's troubling. A felony. Over 50,000 is uh, what a, a used. Oh, a thousand. Well, they're shoplifters. Yeah, yeah. They're stealing fucking nail polish, Kyle. Did you, <laughs> did you, did, uh, have you seen those videos in California? Yeah, <laughs> have you seen those like funny rioting videos in california because they decriminalized theft under a thousand in california I, I and so people that. just Why? walk people just walk into walmart and steal 980 dollars worth of stuff and leave yeah. 
I'm serious. Yeah. And people are just leaving and nobody nobody can do anything. And, oh, there's tax laws. on that. You're fucked. Dude. <laughs> no, and, the, and, the people who are taxpayers in that, that state get to cover that, I'm sure. Well, you get what I'm saying. Now it's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and like some people are just like, stop. And they're just like, I've seen them steal clothing, like, like big double yeah. armfuls of clothing, like running to their cars. I saw one guy at like a Lowe's or a Home Depot steal a bunch of wire the other day. Like, like he got like a thousand dollars worth of wire, like spools of it. Just, and just copper wire. Something like that. Yeah. I think I think it might have been fiber optic actually something like that like some sort of expensive cable or wiring. Now I'm no genius, but decriminalizing theft under a thousand does not seem sustainable. Why? Um, I'm tr I tried to like fact check you on this. I know people love it when I do that. It appears that you're pretty much right. It, if they don't have a record already, if it's less than nine hundred and fifty, it can't be a felony. That's that's the scoop. So I guess it's a misdemeanor under a thousand. Unless you already are a felon. Yeah. Shit. If they even prosecute it. Yeah. It, it just I don't I don't understand the That's thought process. That's insane. You can get a ton of great shit for a thousand bucks. We what should would move you to steal? California. Right. Oh man, I would steal camping equipment gift over cards. here. I could steal the entire pallet of Cheez Its from Costco. <laughs> And that would be like theft under 300. <laughs> like I, want, I want a new warm weather sleeping bag. I bought a cold one. That's what I want. That's what you see. You see all this rioting and it's like, the, it's always sunny with Frank where you just see Woody walking out with camping equipment. <laughs> 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 is that Woody with camping? He's very well off. Why is he doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think things are tougher than he might let on at the Woodworth home if he's, if he's stealing camping equipment in California. <laughs> we, should all, we should all take a vacation to California and each of us can all steal under a thousand to get or okay woody and i can steal under a thousand yeah and, <laughs> and and then and then we can blame it on the felon <laughs> who are they gonna he, believe he told us that he'd rape us if we didn't do it he's the right. mastermind behind all of this don't oh. trust him he's tricky don't frame me up <laughs> don't frame me up <laughs> frame me up jesus what a, what a hilarious end to the show <laughs> we framed him <laughs> all for a sleeping bag we frame him for just a minuscule amount of shitty goods that we stole. yeah I, I don't know about that one um it always strikes me as weird i know Mitty had um uh, a shoplifter that he had to tangle with the other day uh i think yeah, he, he rest me. yeah yeah he got a he got into a physical altercation with some guy he sent me the video he's of a it. big I got man it right yeah Mitty yeah is Mitty's like six five or something he's a big dude I still look at the very beginning of it. It's just a little yucky. You know, he went there with this gun looking to be an amateur cop. I think he's going to make a ton of money out of this. Like, because like the media was like out and out slandering him for like a year, calling him a white supremacist that, you know, just so much fake nonsense surrounding it. Like that one kid, the the, the kid who... CNN and all the news sites, they ran with that fake story of like, look at all these white racist, white supremacist MAGA kids charging at this Native American man. And it's like, that's not what happened. And that one guy got his face all Sandman and he made like boatloads of money. And this is a way bigger story than that ever was. So I bet he makes So we don't know how much he made. It is true. So what the, what I saw the media do was edit this thing. And the kid, we're talking about the kid with the MAGA hat mm -hmm. who was kind of smirking while the savage American played his tambourines all around him, right? It, and uh, he was trying to put a spell on him is what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you just look at that, and I fell for it personally, you see this smirking kid with the MAGA hat and the guy, do you know, whoa, 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 whatever he's singing. And uh, it's like, you think the kid's a jerk. But if you watch the whole video, it's like, dude, the Indian went to him. Mm -hmm. The like, the kid wasn't the bad guy. But if you, they kind of selectively edited it to make it look like he was, and he won an undisclosed settlement. Everyone's saying it's two hundred fifty million because he sued for two hundred fifty million. Not bad. I would much. be surprised if he actually got a quarter billion dollars. Mm -hmm. But he got something that that made him settle. And I, I bet it was multiple millions. I'm sure. I bet, I bet it was like, don't work for the rest of your life, millions. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I bet it was. A, uh, so, and the news really did slant that story and disparage his character. With Rittenhouse, like, I didn't see them call him a white supremacist. Maybe they did. I saw them like 
in multiple articles, or maybe white nationalist was the was the oh, term they be. used. So they called him a white nationalist, and that he went That's there with the look. intent to murder people. And it's like, oh, CNN just called me a white nationalist. My life is destroyed forever. Like that. That like eh. I'm never going to get a job. I'm never going to get anything. half the like, country thinks he's a hero. I, I wonder. Did you see Matt Gates offered him a job? No, yeah. I don't know much about uh, that. Whatever happened with him being a pedo or like pedo accusations? That's not a true or, thing. Slowly unfolding. Nothing uh, yet, though. Dude, last Nothing I heard, good. they were hiring attorneys who specialized in like child trafficking or something like that. It, it, it sucks how these things take like four years to play out. Why are there attorneys yeah. who specialize in that? <laughs> he's, working with, uh, he's working with a lot of politicians. That's why <laughs> he solely works with Congress people. But yeah, Matt Gates offered him. It's funny. It's like we don't know anything about Kyle Rittenhouse's politics, right? I mean, you're just going to assume he's even a Republican. No, I would say he's definitely like he's I would totally assume Republican. he's a he's a MAGA Republican guy. <laughs> it's just it's it's funny like like uh, that that like uh, we were talking about the what's that W uh, the, the the car crash thing the 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 guy who ran down all those people in the parade. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is his name? Uh, oh, that, that's I don't remember his name. Yeah, and there are so many like desperate like blue checks i've seen on twitter being like there's nothing to indicate that he's not a maga person he's a you know <laughs> he's, he's a, what are you saying he he likes blm and it's like yeah like look at a lot of his posts he i i saw something wild and you know, i looked to in, confirm if it's oh, real sorry. but like uh, it was like a black nationalist post and it was like one of those like fake quotes with hitler on it and <laughs> hitler is on this thing and it's a long paragraph and it's about this fictitious monologue of hitler being like the true Jews are the blacks that were stolen from Africa or in America. And these white Jews are trying to pretend to be God's chosen. And they're dangerous because they are not the true Hebrews and Israelites. And it's like, I am not a historian, but Hitler did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no, wouldn't he have been furious at, at black Americans? If that was like, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, probably. I looked into the the dude, the Wakasha Christmas parade mm -hmm. attack guy. Apparently, he had just left a domestic dispute, was having a really bad day, was kind of insane, and willing to run people over with his car. There's well, no politics angle at this thing. Well, He's nobody said a, he had a bad really? day. I mean, shit. Huh? He had a We've bad all day. been there. Yeah. yeah. How, how, many, how many people mowed died? Down people? How many people died? Five so far. Oh, come on. That's can, not... can you imagine if a white guy drove intentionally through 50 black people in a parade? Well, well, hang on, Taylor. We haven't heard how his oh. day was going. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't heard how his day is going. Taylor, yeah. be, be open-minded on this. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just it it's funny when like it doesn't go against the narrative. It's like, there's no way to know anything. Uh, we, we don't know what his motivation. We don't even know what he believes. It's all in the ether. And then it's like, oh, this other guy? Yeah, he's a, he's a white nationalist. He's a Nazi. Oh, you're talking about Rittenhouse now? Yeah, I was saying like the comparison and narratives and how there's well, just he was this anti BLM riot. So, no, he was at a BLM. You'd have to make it. Yeah. Well, he was there to stop the BLM people from misbehaving, mm -hmm. right? He said he was pro BLM. He did. He did. did he? he was pro BLM. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Uh, yeah. That's why he only shoots whites. <laughs> you're making a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, you, you guys have been reading me wrong the whole time. <laughs> Let's tear this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> and I got them because they weren't going hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> they were traitors to the cause. <laughs> they to burn down the police station and they're fucking around with Corollas. You know, <laughs> you know how long I've been undercover. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, shit. I don't know. Rittenhouse is innocent. I think he deserves to be. Uh, this guy, non political, it seems, just total asshole the, in the parade running over um yeah i don't know i mean he had some posts about posts apparently on his social media about like hitting or harming white people really yeah like and like there were articles out like uh, all of this is archived like and i, I saw some posts like a green text that was making me laugh where it was like five hours after this happens you know cnn and fox we don't know anything about this person it could be anything 4chan three minutes afterward Here's his name. Here's his criminal <laughs> record. Here's his address. Here's a prior conviction he has. Here's where he got the gun. Here's what his cat had for breakfast. <laughs> it's like, okay, if these fucking autists on, on the internet can figure all this stuff out on Twitter and 4chan and shit. Like, this guy is posts about hating white people and then he ran over a bunch of them in a parade. 
that's, that's not a good look bro. To me. and and yeah. who knows maybe all that comes out as fake and i've been bamboozled which mm. you know i've been bamboozled before but if you can't trust 4chan who can you trust <laughs> yeah you can't trust <laughs> those people who can you really trust the mainstream uh. media <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting, interesting times we live in. So have you ever seen the Police Activity YouTube channel? Oh, Jesus. Well, no. let me just go ahead and say, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> you're, what you're going to want to do is watch the whole playlist in order later on and, and have a couple drinks. And you're going to have some laughs. You're going to cry. You're going you're gonna to cheer. You're going to oh, be afraid Jesus. because it's literally nothing but body cam footage. And the, mm -hmm. that channel will edit together five different officers' perspectives. Oh, and make, right. Yeah. And make you a fucking movie out of some of these. <laughs> crazy. And, and, and it, it'll be such crazy shit that you're like, how have I never heard of the West Dallas shootout? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. this, this, Tombstone is pussy shit compared to the stuff that goes down on the daily and is uploaded on that channel. I, but crazy. My favorite. My favorite crazy like action movie type moment that I saw was a guy took a hostage with a knife, and as soon as the cop like approached and saw that, he shot the guy in the face. Oh God! Yeah, like, yeah. Threw down, shot the bad guy in the face, and as bad guy is falling, very much dead again in the face. Yeah, and you see a little bit of his Damn. brain come out. It's spittle. Yeah, spittle. Okay. It's it's just, yeah. Uh... He it was in a little shed type shed. thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what, he had remember the... what his partner said? Nice. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I remember that now. Oh, I remember God. that now. Yeah, yeah. Here's the oh, best part about that brutal. video. That now. Yeah, that, yeah. Like the, the cop didn't catch it, and I, most of the people in the YouTube comments didn't either. The poor, like I think he was a Sikh guy. He had the beard, maybe the turban too. Um, that was had been taken hostage. Pissed himself. So oh, that's yeah. why he's being weird at the end. He's trying to like hide that he's yep. pissed his pants. I don't, remember that. I don't blame him. Hey, I don't <laughs> tagged either. him in the face, and then he tagged the moving, uh, moving yeah, yeah. target. As on the he double on the side, yeah. he gets That's some yeah. fucking and... Kyle Rittenhouse marksmanship right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <You're> impressive. <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Dude, that Kyle Rittenhouse kid, like, like, say what you want, but like, that. first of all, he had a great great lawyer i love that i i, I don't oh, know if you've yeah, seen yeah, the yeah. excerpt you, I know kyle you rittenhouse okay. should not have been there to begin with agree everybody <laughs> agrees on that shouldn't have been everybody there agrees be. on that wolf who but drives their teenager to a riot filled like i have a, a child Did the same age there? his yeah. mom dried him there dro drove him there like oh, I, I have know that detail okay. if if there were uh if i was in the suburbs and there were protests and fires and stuff going on i would not drive my teenager down there to hang out with my ar-15 and that's why your son will never be a hero <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no one will remember your name I'm proud <laughs> no that was uh zach uh, said he drove himself our producer i i didn't he I traveled to there and look every i had this exact conversation with my father two days ago and 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 he was like he had never heard the story he says he doesn't watch bullshit news he didn't even know about kyle rittenhouse he's like wow. why the fuck was he there with a rifle why the fuck was he there at all and i'm like those are good points yeah okay but what regardless cool of when the guy tried to shoot him he shot the guy's bicep on his shooting hand and i choose to believe it was intentional wow mm -hmm. i don't think so yeah. i think that was luck I, I think, oh really that it was yeah i do I think fired this, like four the way shots, he was got falling, three kills. Oh. The way he was falling. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think he had a miss. That's not hard with kill. a two-two-three. Come on now. He I didn't just have a miss. Nobody way, else hit him. When I saw him falling back, and he, the way, just the way his gun was pointed, I think that was pure luck. I, the, the other two uh -huh. shots. The other two shots. Okay, fine. But the the bicep shot, I think that was pure coincidence. <laughs> and Boy, I shot my I, came apart. I shot well. The human body will do that, but oh, um, yeah. I it shot runs. my fair share of stuff. But regardless, though, like, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Oh, I, hey. I like, Holy I like how they had coached that witness too. Like, like, so at that point, he shot you in the bicep. No, no, no. At that point, he destroyed my bicep. Yeah, yeah. And he like he looks at like the prosecutor, like, did I do good, boss? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you did good, but yeah, you're about to destroy. lose the whole fucking case. So I'll give you three thirty. Yeah, minutes. yeah. He was not a good witness. <laughs> did he lose he that arm? Not make a good witness, man. Uh, he's got the arm, but I there's no way he can do shit like this. Mm. Yeah, they. <laughs> I think they, they, took some, <laughs> they took some uh, some uh, thigh muscle 
and they moved and it tried to, to rebuild oh. some shit in his arm. See They're again, that's amazing that's these Woody. days. Woody, would you do that? Would you take muscle from one of your like genetically predisposed good regions and throw it on like your weak point if you could? Uh, then I wouldn't have any more good regions. I don't know. This no, no, no. Hard. You could create a new good region. Like, do you? Want, Woody, like, uh, what he's shit? asking, what would he's what he's asking is, would you get a BBL done? No, no, no. Take, <laughs> I, take, I want you to take like a chicken cutlet size slice out of each calf, <laughs> chicken each calf and it just goes yeah. on your delts now. Oh, um, wow. You've got a fourth delt muscle. I think I would do that, yeah. That's like a video yeah. game attribute slider. You know? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna what do you say, think? Exactly. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, right. you're just you're just taking it from one and you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Can I just his, take his points off of intelligence? Absurd. I don't use it anyway. What are you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> I tell dick jokes charisma? on the internet. I what can't have bigger I need to boost my charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, Woody, see, they don't understand, Woody, that your character uh, is already a, 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 an oddly maxed out character. I think they need to see the calves. Oh my god, like right now? I mean, <laughs> I would like to see the calves. Let me see what I can do. Hold on. It's going to be worth the wait. Oh, oh shit. You're going to stand up and see them. him right there. You can already see like what's I coming. I can see the Oh my god. You can already see what's coming. Like like he's got plenty of calf to lose. Like like he could take a little of this throw it on the delt. A little of that throw, throw it somewhere else. Or something. Look how oh my it. god. Oh, whoa. Oh, my god. oh, look at that. And there he Acrobatic goes. Acrobatic as well. <laughs> Oh, oh well. that's what happened when you that's what happens when your legs are landing gear oh my god look at that. Look at the power oh, this is perfect this is perfect. this is a this para, do a squat, para glider. Oh my squat. Gosh. pistol squat pistol squat jesus like jesus. bowling pins oh. <laughs> Damn. houseway how <laughs> yeah, jesus. like a man look at that guy age. Oh. <laughs> yeah. when uh yeah, his legs are landing gear, so he uh, yeah, he's got to he's got to land right with way. those things. <laughs> Woody would look good. At, Woody, you'd look good in a real good in a pair of heels, like a you know, <laughs> oh my, yeah, a pair of red yeah. bottoms. Yeah, <laughs> Louboutins. Louboutins, exactly. <laughs> Thank you hey. for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Talking about nothing of consequence at all. Oh, we're talking about Home Alone. This is this is important. Stuff. We're talking about how awful it was that not only were they robbing the houses, but they were plugging the drains and turning all the water on. The wet bandits were ruining lives. Yeah, and I would bet that's probably illegal, isn't it, Nick? Winter in Chicago. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would be uh, highly illegal. Yeah. Um, also stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they find you pretty quickly. You know, a trail of wet houses all in the Chicago Gold you're just, Coast area. And you're getting charges you don't you don't need to get. You were there for like clock radios and stuff. It was ninety two. But don't you think that that get the you know, Teddy Rutsman, that family Marv. had money to spare? Toaster oh. ovens. So we, Nick, thank you we so were, much for joining us. Uh I was I was popping around your YouTube channel. I'm I'm familiar with, with you through uh through Dick Masterson, friend friend oh, of the yeah. show and all that. He's a very funny guy. I I was watching a video that you you you're apparently like playing around with the idea of doing a podcast with uh Kyle Rittenhouse like as a <laughs> as a as a co-host like like I don't or know just about an that. interview. I I got him on for an interview finally. It took forever. Um which was great. No, I I wanted to uh during the trial what I wanted to do was get um was be able to just coach him on his social media Thing that would follow because I feel like I feel like he missed out on a million dollar opportunity to create a YouTube channel right at the mm -hmm. height of all of the attention uh, reviewing guns. I think that's what he should have done rather rather than par be paraded around to like all of the traditional conservative media. Yeah, <laughs> like, what do yeah, you everybody get out else? Of that? Been yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, mean, I wonder if he would have done watch. well at it or if he would have been made to look a fool. Right. He's a young it. guy. You put a camera on him and a mic in front of him. It won't take long before the yeah, people you put who a don't like him. The camera. That would yeah. Go. But the people who don't like him, you can. Shucks. This show alone. I'm sure there's 90 seconds of me looking like an absolute ass. They can no. do that to him repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of us. <laughs> none of us have oodles of clips of being retarded. Nah, you know, you put a producer behind the camera that knows what they're doing, right? Um, yeah. and, and, you know, welcome to Straight Shooters with Kyle Rittenhouse. You know, you can have some fun. You come up with a silly shooters. Name. I shooters. like it already. Shooters. My God. Of all the criticisms they leveled him, it's not that he can't shoot straight. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, welcome you know, to the it, fuck around and find out podcast with your host, <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> well, you the map you remover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can have tons of puns um, and then merch. And, and I, I always point out that it's incredibly tasteless, but I point out that person who was a friend of a friend of a friend or whatever, who made all that money selling those Trayvon Martin targets. Mm. Um, they, they just sold like hotcakes. Yeah. Um, and tasteless as it was, he, he, I, I know that it was six or seven figures. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. selling those paper targets for a couple bucks a piece. Like, it's like all those companies that made shit tons of cash selling like fuck Trump and Trump rules hats, like on the same web page. Like, yeah, people will buy it just to piss off the other side. Like there would even if Rittenhouse sucked ass on the mic, which I don't know. I haven't watched a clip of him talk or anything. But if he was a horrible podcaster, I guarantee a bunch of gun people would still be like, where's your Patreon, brother? Like, where can I support the cause? Like, and, and that would yeah. rake in money too. Yeah, yeah. And that would have been great uh, for him, I think. It, to, to answer your question about how he is on Mike, I mean, he's still, what, 20? Like, oh, yeah, he's, he's not, uh, he's not the best on Mike. The, the hardest part for him, though, is that he's got this pending lawsuit and everybody wants to interview him about, like, what happened. Because mm -hmm. that's all anybody knows about him. That's all anybody kind of sure. wants to know about him. But the thing with building, you know, a YouTube channel or whatever is you build your brand. Like not someone else building their brand off of your story. Mm -hmm. And so he could have done that. He could have been like, yeah, you know me. I'm Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, my hobby, though, is guns. And here's what I like to do. I like to go to the range. Let's go check out this gun and, and start shooting it. Right. And yeah. that would have been an easy way for him to, to kind of mold the narrative. Stay away from all of that political stuff that uh, has potential interference with a lawsuit and just have fun and probably make a killing uh, on on YouTube or whatever platform yeah. he chose. If he didn't get banned, I can right. see YouTube banning him. Oh, he needs a product too. Like, like, like I would immediately have... Um, yeah. Tourniquets. No, I would immediately have a device that kept people from grabbing your rifle out of your hands. Like, look, look at this. It straps onto my arm and then onto my grip. Try to take the gun away from me. Yep, you're just going to. It's like, <laughs> no, off. no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Art man, Art man. <laughs> like, wow, you were trying. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. That's how. That's. Well, I mean, that's how I would produce videos. Like, like it would have to be jokey, right? You, mm. If yeah. you can make people laugh, it's hard for them to hate you. Um, <laughs> at least, at, at least, like full throatedly hate you. Um, so mm -hmm. you know, you, you got to do things in a funny kind of way, but. He is a polarizing figure. I'll say that. Um, I saw, Whoa. <laughs> you know, I, I'll scroll through Reddit and I get it's something about um, the civil suit against him popped up on my Reddit feed the other day. And I wrote, I went through those comments. Whew. Well, that's a, yeah. it's an interesting place to go through there. There's a lot of people in there that are just wanting you to describe like, a theme. Like what? Uh, said about why it? did he kill those three black men? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he they? killed those three black men in cold blood. <laughs> Essentially, a lot of people are like really in disbelief. They're like, well, he's clearly like a racist murderer. And there was a there was some miscarriage of justice. That's sort of the narrative that a mm. lot of people just care. That's their truth. As if yeah. people can have different versions of a, of truth in, 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 its, in its own yeah. right. That's their truth is that Kyle Rittenhouse is like a, a guy who like got away. He's the he's an OJ. And it's like, man, they were all white. And Y'all watched the video, right? Like I watched it. Like, like I, I just call them like I that see they it. Were all white, as long as they're all people attacking him. Like, <laughs> right. but well, I mean, know, I mean, yeah. like, like, but the racist angle in general, like, 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 there, there weren't any black people shot. He didn't shoot any black people. Well, actually, that's the most racist part. The one black guy who did jump kick him in the face, you know, and kick him while he was on the ground, he shot and missed that guy. Like what? You can't see black people? What kind of horrific racist yeah. are you? What are you? That's why you need. Your, that's why you need the Kyle Rittenhouse tactilite. All right. <laughs> some, target, some targets in the dead of night. I'm not. I'm not saying which kinds of targets, but they're hard to see. Okay. Um, yeah. And all of his products, he could say like pedophiles all, give this two thumbs down. Oh. <laughs> because where do we get a pedophilia angle? Because one of the people he shot with like had had crimes. Oh, that's uh, right. Uh, yeah, uh, related to that right? horrific child yeah, rape. Nick, you know charges. more about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. He was convicted. Uh, the Joseph Rosenbaum, the first guy who chased him, threw the bag at him and grabbed for the gun. Uh, that guy was convicted of um, forcible sodomy of uh, of minors. Oh, no. um, Jesus oh yikes. Yeah. I was going to ask what he really did, because sometimes, especially something about the sexual assault charges, it's like, yeah, but what does that really mean? What is it? Well, even that one, we don't know what that means, because sodomy under the law can be anal or oral forcible penetration. Right? This one was anal. Oh. 
Well, there we, we got it. Heard it here, folks. It was but the I final. understand it was, the charges, and he was convicted. He was found guilty. Yeah, he spent uh, several years in prison down in Arizona. Um, Ooh. and then he or New Mexico, one of those two. It was either Arizona, not one or of New those Mexico. Sheriff Joe Apio like places. I hope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, then he w- he had been out for a little bit and went up to Kenosha to, I guess, to start over. It's like, well, everyone here knows what I did. Let's just go to Wisconsin where no one cares. Yeah, I'll keep a low profile. <laughs> <laughs> Six feet under. Oh, oh, um, did the child rapist get shot? <laughs> oh, did the child rapist get killed? <laughs> yeah, that, that, I don't think anyone should give a fuck about that guy. Why? Why? Why would you care that a of someone who sodomizes children was killed? Fuck them. Good. How old was the victim? Well, he didn't get killed. Uh, they were between. Yeah. Wasn't he the guy that got his arm blown off? No, no, no. no. That guy's still so, Gage. One. Oh, he killed the pedophile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He the the two people he killed had the worst records, um, which is pretty interesting. Gage had kind of a checkered record, but but nothing like crazy, like uh, the Anthony Huber kid whose family is suing Kyle now. Um, he was the one who, uh, when he held his, like, he, he was charged with uh, attempted strangulation of a sibling, so domestic assault charge, and he also held, like, his grandmother and sister at knife point because they wouldn't clean the house. All right. Well, Couple I mean, a traditional winners. man through and through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> clean the shit up, bitches. Yeah, a little uh, Sigma mindset. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't talk about how old the first victim was. The, they, were, they were very... the. The Is kid the victims of, of Joseph said. Rosenbaum? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they were they were not like this was not 17 year olds. Like it okay. was they were that was my last, uh, like I need to know, you know. Like it, you're always mm, like, yeah, you're mm. like, it's still gross, but it'd be like less bad if they were 16 than if they're nine. Right. If they're like 17 and consenting, but because he's 23, they're not able to consent. That's a yeah, different thing that. in my head. It wasn't that. It wasn't yeah. that. No, it was yeah, it was bad. 30, there's 32 different flavors of awful sexual rape and crimes, but, but yeah. I, I kind of want to know which flavor we're talking about, I guess, to, so that I can kind of have a mindset when the guy gets his head blown off in the streets. Like, oh, like yeah, yeah. Don't up call it flavor. A young person. Yeah, no, not the flavor. <laughs> no <laughs> no two ways like to that. see it. Oh, yeah, rum raisin, eh? <laughs> oh. Rum raisin.